evening. Hope you're doing all right. Hope you're having a lovely Saturday night. I'm back for some more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, hopefully we can uh, we can get through this fairly fairly quickly. What I have done off stream is I did do some of the ones with the uh, check with the viewpoints uh, and just unlocked the the areas because I thought that's kind of uninteresting, just repetitive kind of stuff with the same uh, same missions over and over again. So I won't bother doing any of them on stream. We'll try and stick with the story if we can, and maybe some side missions that are kind of story related. Um, Rather than like the stuff where we're trying to take down the uh, the, the gang areas, um, I feel like doing that off stream is probably a better option to be honest. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump in. We're going to play some more Assassin's Creed. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll do all right tonight. Uh, we will see how it goes. What I will do is I will turn off this uh, extra brightness that we don't need during this game. <coughs> and yeah, I think we'll jump in. We'll get on with the game, and hopefully we'll uh, hopefully we'll do all right. Uh, let me just check and make sure if the audio is coming through there it should be now uh but yeah so we're gonna jump in hopefully we'll get on okay we'll try and push through the story as much as we can uh i feel like that's that's a good idea to be honest uh so yeah we'll do that i also played a little bit of that uh, new star wars game quite enjoyed it actually seems all right tried it out seemed all right so we're gonna get on with the game uh and the first thing i believe we're due to do here is we're with ev as we as we were when we finished up last time uh and we're gonna go and do whatever this next mission is which is kind of around the back of this building. Uh, hopefully the volume's not too quiet. In fact, it probably is, if I'm honest. So we'll just bump it up just a touch. Uh, hopefully that's going to be okay. But yeah, so this is the mission, Evie's next mission, I think we had to do. At the hospital. Is this, this is the hospital, isn't it? That was the hospital where we did the other thing. The lady with the lamp. Hey, it's going well, Butlers, how are you? Hope you're doing alright? It's not too bad. Just started a bit more Assassin's Creed. Hopefully I can get a good good way through it tonight. Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. We'll see how it goes. How are you doing? Check on Lambus since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care have been falling ill. My usual tonics aren't working. A cane, too. <laughs> are you certain you're feeling alright? Of course. I am, miss. Uh oh, Clara. they're not feeling well. Currently watching Jason X. Nice. It's a bit of a silly film, Jason X. Although some of the stuff that's going on in it will make a bit more sense Bring when you've watched time. the other ones now. <laughs> it's a little, um, like, she simulation said, stuff yes, going on in it. said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> I still think it's an odd. I don't mind it, though. I, I thought it was okay. But without the appropriate it's just medication, she and the obviously very silly time. compared to the other ones. <laughs> Not that the other ones are particularly serious in the first place. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. We need to collect medicine. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? It's Florence Nightingale! Party at a woman with powers. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. The, the one I'm not a big fan of, I mean, Jason goes to hell. The, um, the one where Freddy Krueger's claw grabs his... Uh, grabs his mask from underground. I don't think that's... I, I don't think that's a particularly great film, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, you can't exactly take them serious, you're right. <laughs> It's just always that thing. As soon as uh, as soon as they go into space, you know, it almost feels like they've run out of ideas, you know, like Leprechaun in space or something. Locate the peddler. Is he on a bike? I feel like we should be catching him a lot quicker than this. Yeah, but that's it. It's um, yeah, <laughs> it's not a series you should take very seriously. It's funny though how it. it, it, it Watching, watching all of them, especially, you kind of notice how how the series kind of changed as it went along. Obviously, it was a relatively kind of normal horror film with uh, in the first one. There. And then suddenly it was, uh, you know. And then suddenly it was his her son had come back to life and you're like, what's going on here? 
Well, not come back to yeah. life, but you know. It suddenly became all supernatural when the first film obviously totally wasn't. Was quite funny. So now we're looking for a pharmacist. Get there as fast as we can. We've only got six minutes to get to this guy. Gotta stop them from. Stop them. Oh, what was that? Push, it, Fred. Push my door open. Freddy vs. Jason's good. Yeah, I like Freddy vs. Jason as well. I think it's quite a good I think it's quite a surprisingly good film to be honest. These supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Oh, we've got stuff to take from Miss you Nightingale. You mean the car that's just got nicked? Aye. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. Some of those items are fragile. I don't get these items, mate. Your head's going to be fragile. Faster! Catch them. But yeah, Freddy vs. Jason I enjoyed as well. It's, uh... Again, it, it, they do become kind of sort of, you know, more comedy than anything else, you know. Why did I not turn? I wasn't turning at all. The turning circle in this carriage was absolutely horrendous. Come on! Come on! I'll have that, thanks. Got to turn round now, though. Yeah, I, 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 I enjoyed that, and and uh, as I say, Jason X. I know I said it's kind of silly, but I do still quite like it. I feel like I should have taken a different route here, to be quite honest. With the time limit we've got, I feel like maybe we're going a bit too far af too far away. No, we should be alright. We're, we're not that far away at all. But no, I'm a big fan of those films, so... As silly as they are, I do really like them. <laughs> Clara will die if the asylum's not reached in time. Well, I'm here! Just three minutes. They're saying she'll die if I don't get there on time. I've got three minutes to get round the corner. Easy now. <laughs> I think I'll be all right. You're back, and not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. I think so. Is that? How is she? She will recover. Pablo and Ali, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. They can distribute real medicine. What, what kind of medicine were they distributing before? Have regulations put in place. Bottle of water with some uh, syrup in it. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. There we go, we completed that. We didn't kill the peddler, we hijacked the car in less than a minute. And we got back. Nice. So I think we've actually got a... We've got a crafting schematic unlocked there that we could possibly use, although... The problem is I need to have the resources to get these things and don't have them right now. Okay, so that mission for Evie's done. Uh, I don't know what else she's got. We've got one for Jacob. And that's about it. So let's go over here then and we'll do um, we'll do Belle's mission. Get that one out of the way too. Oops. Grab that and get it done. Let's go. Jump down the front of the building quickly. It's a long run, but we will get there quite easily. We could use a cart, I suppose, but the trouble using the carts in this game, I find, is you end up running into everybody and just causing yourself all sorts of extra problems. Don't 
kill me, please. I'm bloody desperate. Then don't kill him, he's desperate. Go to the toilet then, mate. Not stopping you. Although I would argue he should have gone before he went out. There's a chest down here is the only reason that I'm taking a detour. I can turn that up just a bit more. Hopefully that should be enough. Let's go see what Bell's uh, got for us. Old Alexander Graham Bell. Da -da -da -da. What's happening here? We're having a fight, aye. They're all beating each other up out there. What's he catching? What's that? He catching in that weird, weird little cage, I wonder. It's not a thing I've ever seen before. Anyway, look, we're going to this uh, run-down old house by the look of things. Oh, is that Bell's house? I can't remember. Because I think we came to it from the front bef before. Oh, there's something behind this house. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Let's. Uh, I think these missions can be quite good because his missions help to unlock um, certain equipment sometimes. And obviously it's handy to have all the equipment that you might need within your grasp. What's he making? Ah! Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Here he is. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Mm. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrick keeps sending around to coax me. He is all Sending great oafs. Ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant should the need arise. Are you saying right. it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the one right must form. be the right formula. One you might just wipe everybody out in like shell. a huge area, and the other might Speaking be just static, totally useless. He's still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. Well, his company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. That wouldn't be great, to be honest. Wait a minute. <laughs> Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh dear, they never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. We gotta deal with these guys. Instead, play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb on. Take the, the bombs roof. on the roof. When I see the name of uh, a fruit. Toss one near the thugs. Right then. And he says the name of a fruit. Oh, Toss one near them. Uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. Oh wow! So I won't be electrocuted by anything. I think. He thinks. Is it rubber soles for our shoes? Is that all it is? Just some rubber soles to go on the shoes. All right. Well, let's see. So we gotta go up on the roof, fine. Up on the roof. Oh, hello. There's a chest here. There's actually quite a few chests in this area, look. Let's deal with this first, but yeah, there's a few chests in this area. In a variety of places. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, ain't we, Bess? Have you? One of them tell you what's it's in here, ain't ya? So we got. I'm guessing we don't want to hit him. That is as untrue as the notion that the Static Telegraph Company hasn't mentioned any fruit yet, though. Come again. Your employer's promises are nothing. Oh, here he goes. And his operations are about to turn. Here, shaped. What you going on about air repairs for? So that one did nothing. Although. <laughs> they look like they're feeling a bit sick. Yeah, they look like they're feeling a bit sick. Well, only one of them is, though. What was that bomb? It, like, I don't know what that did. They're not feeling very good. 
Why did he didn't do it? Those playful young scamps get everywhere. Oh, he's running away. Oh, they're both running away. What's he doing now? Do, 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 do. We've got to wait for him to signal us again now, have we? Listen up, Belle, or I'll thump you to your razor ring. Oh, that was bad. Here we go again. What did that one do to them? I think he's trying to be funny. Whoa, you dropped another one, Bill. I think that one just smells. It <laughs> makes him think that he's just farted. Stink bombs. Okay, so that didn't work. That one did nothing, apart from make them think someone farted. We got one more. Apparently this one will do something completely different. Well, well. Let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Let's see. see a cable? What's he gonna do? Do you really think I would keep it Oh, he's repeating himself. Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. Yeah. That's true, I suppose. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. There we go. Oh, that one electrocuted them. Now we've got to eliminate them. Now we've got to eliminate them. He didn't even notice me coming down and good killing his pal. Alec. That was good. Thanks to you, Evie. We got them. Your presence gave me courage and resolve. I never knew I had. Nice. Okay, so we've got to... Uh, now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Let's do that. Now we've got to follow him. I want all these chests that are in the area now. I guess we'll have to wait and come back for that. Because there's loads of them around his house. Right, where are we going, pal? Come on, we haven't got all day. Aye, so the where are we going? The longer we can keep Stark from spewing out false information, the more we longer we can keep him from spewing out false information, well, we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see. I agree. I hope he uh, knew which which one of those things we threw, so he knows which one was good and which one was not. Soothing syrup. They're still getting it. That's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No. No, we can't. Which shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fish wives. We've we'll reached the telegraph station and then we can do something about that. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, detrimental then little trash. by little, mm. the truth will take <laughs> the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get Let's go. Detected might. We have to go in without being detected, okay. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing Three parts of the transmitter. A penny. Is that right? That's what he thinks is going to happen, is it? Do I... Can I get off the carriage, or... Go to electrocute things with voltaic bombs. Can I walk in there? The trouble is, the area that we've got hit there is pretty big. Can we do it in a way where we're not going to hit any... Like pedestrians, any civilian people, we don't, anybody that we don't obviously want to, that we don't want to hit. Because if if we stun civilians, it might be a bad situation. I don't know. I don't want to use it while those people are standing there. I think we're just going to have to do it normal, do some normal uh, attacks there. Unfortunately, we didn't get them with the bombs, but that's okay. There just wasn't a really a good option for hitting them there because there were too many people about. The area, obviously, that, that hits was pretty is pretty big. I suppose we could have waited. A beautiful machine. That it's been soiled by corrupt. A beautiful machine. What is it? Oh, it's a telegraph thing. 
I wonder what he was looking at. It looked like he was just looking at the desk. Somebody gonna come in? I see. This is becoming rather perilous to say the least. How dare you! Well, your turn is it? Oh, there you go, buddy. He's got what? What did he get? An electric shock? Is that what you were wanting? Was it? We'll have to cross over here. It's over. Is that what he was wanting? A shock? Was it? We gotta go on the other side of the road. There's more, more stuff over there. Those people shouting, "Someone's been killed!" They have, yeah. It won't be a problem anymore. So I'll just stand here and see what he's doing. While we wait for enemies to come in. We gotta come around that way to get in. There's one more. Why can't I attack them? Why can't I attack this one? I can't attack that one for some reason. For some reason it wasn't letting me attack them even though they were right there. There you go, pal. What's, what's next? How many more of these do we have? Just those two or is there another one? Yeah, a wee bit quicker would be good to be fair. That'll do. Okay, so there's more coming from there. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Problem solved, then. Eh? Three knives. One of them's floating just in front of his head, but it worked. So that's all that matters. <laughs> it worked. So that's all that matters. My dears, Jacob Eve. Thanks are one thanks are in order for again. supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause freedom of speech it's a blessing that you employ your in his case he's just talking about being able to actually use However, the thing to I suggest you, know, you vacate your work send his messages no need not no you've given me not what some people might. college mm -hmm. and besides what with my little devices I have all the protection I need uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare do drop by <laughs> You're going to give me some more interesting stuff, is he? Ah. Some more interesting weapons or something. Alright, so are we back at his house? At, the, at that moment? Because if we are, then that would be ideal. We can go up on the roof and get all these... Get or Go around and get all these things. Was it this house that we were... That wasn't where we were at when I saw all the... Um, all the chests, I don't think. I don't think this was the area I was in. No, I don't think it is. Kind of weird. I wonder where they all are. I can see there's two there. There's not an area I can see nearby with, like, loads of them. There's that area there with two. Let's go and have a look and see what's over there. I just want to try and get some more of these. Because I feel like the, we need these for the upgrades and things. If we've got, uh, obviously, if we can get all the chests, we can get all the, uh, <laughs> the resources we need to actually make the things. Whoops. Oh. That's underground, so I'm guessing we got to go down there. Ooh. I thought I thought I was going to die for a second going down that hole. Almost certain. Alright, so down here we got some chests. Or a chest, anyway. More than one. Maybe. I don't know, actually. There's that. Oh, that's not a chest. That's some dynamite or something. It looks like the other one must be above us. I guess I'll go up. Oop. Back up the ladder, maybe. Well, or maybe this way. Whichever, whichever works. They both both options work, so we'll go with that. But there's another chest there. I think normally you get resources in this as well as cash. Yeah, so we got some leather and some silk. Uh, and I think that should maybe allow us to do some upgrades. Oh, not quite. Okay. Uh, what are we short of there? Chemicals by one to upgrade the smoke bombs. Uh, knife pouch, we need 100. Leather, we've only got 44. 100 leather, 200 leather, 100. 100 and 200 metal. We're not far away on some of those, but there's still a long, there's still a decent distance to go. Right, um, now there was another Mark's mission there. Uh, shall we do that and then 
and go up and do Jacob's thing. We'll do this other Mark's mission and then we'll do Jacob's. Seeing as it's just nearby. Is that moving, that marker? Yeah, we'll see what he's up to. Someone shouting about the news. Size of that guy's hat. Oh, what they were talking about. Talking about cheap smoke, about cigars. Excuse me, excuse me. Coming through. I do notice there are a few people that walk around the streets that kind of look a bit like some of the other, you know, the characters that you do missions with and stuff. So there is maybe not as much uh, variety in what people look like. As you might expect. Anyway, here he is. Look, see what he's talking about this time. Where there's smoke. This place is full Corruption of rains here. Here. Sure Corruption rains here. The number of people injured by their machinery cannot be calculated, and yet the company continues to prosper. There's a company prospering from people being wounded. Find and ignite cotton bales. If only we had some form of proof. Is that for this, is it? There must be records of the accident somewhere inside, which would surely prove their malfeasance. Sure, or we could just create an accident. I know you enjoy a how you convince him to give you the report. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Perhaps if they think the factory's on fire, you might bluff your way past. They think the factory's on fire. All right, cool. What are they doing? Let them go away so we don't get attacked. Okay, so we want to ignite hay bales? Cotton, cotton bales, sorry. Wait, oh, they're inside. I was like, there was a bale there, now it's disappeared. No, it's inside. Okay, death. We might have to go in from above somewhere, maybe over there. That looks like a way in to me. That looks like a way in there to me. Start igniting these. Start setting these on fire. The only trouble is we're not uh, we're not reacting very well to the uh, to the smoke, as you'd expect. <laughs> Excuse me, lads. Coming through. Why ignite the bloody thing? <laughs> About a million different reactions to being near the thing. Everybody out. I need to get in. I need to get up to the top floor though, and then start rob start nicking their stuff, so that I guess so that I can confirm what's suspected about this company. Oh wait, he's gone outside. Oh, okay, never mind then. Here's him. The whole place is going to burn. Get a fire engine here. Quickly. Get a fire engine here quickly. It's alright, it's just uh hijack a fire truck. Well that one's the closest. Can we get it before the police find us though? I'd rather do it obviously with the police not discovering us stealing it. That one's really far away. This is the closest I would say. Yeah. Need to steal a fire engine. Need to hijack it. Sorry, Palch, did your uh, need your vehicle there, buddy? Sorry about this. Fetch the engine there. All right, let's go. Let's go and get this fire out, shall we? And then uh, hopefully he'll. Uh, Follow the foreman. What about any reports? We must get them out of there before the fire takes. Yeah, get any documentation. Mother of God, you're right. Got to get his reports out. Quickly. Got to get rid of your documents. Follow the foreman. Are we keeping him alive or? Warden. It's funny, obviously, because we know that. They should be just inside here. 
Was he hiding them? Was he hiding them, the documents? Oi! What do you think you're doing? Stop, thief! Who saw me doing it? Nobody. Nobody saw me doing that. Who's shouting thief? No one saw me do that. Admittedly, I probably shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have killed him. I probably didn't need to kill him for it, but it's, uh, it's an easy enough uh, solution. There we go. There's your mission for old uh, Marks out the way. Uh, there are some other little side missions and stuff. There's his next one. Uh, we're not going to bother with that just now. Uh, and obviously we've got all of this area that we haven't yet opened up. As I say, I'll do that off stream because I think doing all those little bits is kind of unnecessary. Time consuming. when we could just be doing the missions. We'll have to switch to Jacob for this one. Here it goes. Do, 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 do. Right, where am I trying to get to? We want to go to there. Don't need to worry about falling into hip bale, bales of hay there. Plenty of uh, water around, although I don't know if I'd want to go swimming in the Thames. I don't know if I'd want to go swimming in the Thames now, let alone in the in the ninth, you know, in the the height of the Victorian era. <laughs> Would you want to be uh, swimming in the Thames at that point in time? I don't know. Anyway, Jacob's mission, so we'll be switching over to him as soon as the mission starts. Come, have a look. The good news is, obviously, with a lot of these areas, we are cleared up in the sense that there's nobody else that needs to what's going on oh this is that person again isn't it switch to Jacob and let's get in the carriage and uh, yeah do the next thing and get rid of this while we're here there we go Du, 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 du. Jacob, darling, do join me. Well, we're joining her for a drink or something. To our fruitful partnership. And to the shiny new engines now in my possession. So now she's got these engines which will allow her to Back have, like, motorised buses. Milner's which basically should mean that her, her business is going to be better than this Milner guy's. Hmm, protecting it with his life, no doubt. The very thing I want you to take. <laughs> Just kill him. Just kill him. It's not your first glass of champagne, is it? Probably not. Success is more intoxicating than alcohol, Mr. Fry. I don't know. Then save a glass for me. Yeah, let's try and be successful if we can. Uh, Alright, let's have a quick look and see, because I've not been playing as him for a little while. Is there anything we can spend some points on? Let's get this. And also, is there any better gear we can have for him? He's now level 7, so there you go. That's that's good, I suppose. Uh, let's just have a quick look and see if there's any better gear as well, because I feel like um, we can probably get him something a wee bit better in terms of weapons. It's a little better in lethality, but not so much for the stuns a wee bit down. I think that costs us 5,000. We could probably buy that, to be fair. That has to be crafted. It looks like I could craft it. Well, let's just have a look. Have that one. We'll grab that knife. Okay, so that's uh, that's that assassin's gauntlet. I feel like we can probably get a better one. That's it. That's four attack. Let's have that. It makes a lot more sense for him. Uh, the gun. We've had that one, but we've got all these ones as well that we can use. So let's have this one. Let's nice put gold and silver on that. Belt wise, we're on this one, so we can definitely get something better. I would say. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We can upgrade this one though. Outfits. We have unlocked some other outfits. In fact, I think it's just showing me outfits that were already unlocked. Yeah, I think we'll stick with what we got there. Right, that'll do. 
All right, let's do this. So we have to reach Milner's contraband. We can't touch the River Thames. It says. Now, what would it take to draw out Starrick's pawn? The sight of his ferries. So we can't fall in the water. Perhaps. Basically, is what it's saying. Um, I don't like. We should be able to get there, like from on top of. like pillars, but oh, we can get on this boat that's about to come past, I think. Oh, I don't know, that's actually quite far. That will actually be quite far away, I think, by the time it reaches here. Yeah, it's not going to be that close. Is there some other way we can get on? Oh, we can jump on that boat. Oh, I didn't realise that uh, that was an enemy boat until I was jumping on it, to be honest. Right, so we haven't touched the river yet. That's the main thing, we're not to touch the river, right? I think that counts as well as not touching the river, so that's okay. It says we're leaving their territory, even though I'm clearly approaching it. Nope. Jump over there. Oh, it was almost dangerous. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we don't get the secondary objective, but it'd be quite nice if we could. Um, I could do. Can I get up on top of that pole? Apparently not. Do this, though. Well, that's not really actually going to help me that much, is it? This one might. Now to sink Milner's Enterprise. Uh, use smugglers. Dynamite crates to sabotage their contraband and disrupt their... So we need to find dynamite crates to blow up things. Okay. Is there a way that we could sabotage two contraband at once? Well, that would need us to put, like, dynamite in, like, a, in, like, a line between, con between things, I would think. Is that enough to attract them? It is good. Okay, let's get him. Quite nice if we can get rid of one of them. Hopefully that's not one of their boats. That'll make things a wee bit easier. Now what I could do is we've got some... Evening Len, how you doing? We've got some dynamite there. We can drop that somewhere. Do we have to? I mean, we don't have to do two at once, but... It might be quite nice if we could. Do that and then move out of the way. I wonder if I've got close enough. You good? Got control? Good. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realise because um, I was away from the thing until I came along and then there it was. So I just went, oh, I'll just delete that quickly. <laughs> but yeah, they um, they were just sitting on the sitting on the keyboard, I guess. And press the keys. Including the enter key, which is surprising. <laughs> I think that's the biggest surprise. But they managed to get the right keys, the right buttons. Let's get rid of him. Alright, so we want to destroy... It says we've got to destroy two at once. I reckon if we put this here... And then another one... Oh shit. Get the way, move! Oh, you fool. I needed one to go over there. Good news is, they're not that difficult to deal with, these guys. And it looks like we should be able to sabotage. I don't want to throw- I don't want him! Right, throw him away. Throw him in the water. There we go, sorted. But yeah, I've got, got full control again. It's fine. <laughs> Not fluting cow, sure, some random at the moment, possibly, maybe. You might be right, you never know. Alright, let me move this bit of dynamite, because I'm going to have to put that by the last one that I need to do. And I don't want it getting blown up by the other ones. I drop that for now. So I think if we ignite this dynamite, that should be close enough that all of it will go up. I said it needed two to be done at once, so let's run. 
I don't know actually if I should if I should do this because they're going to react as soon as that's as soon as that blows. Deal with them as well. I'm, singing a, I'm not singing any tunes, mate. So I'll, of course I'll be singing a different tune. But yeah, it could have been something like that. You never know. That sounds about right. <laughs> Did that destroy both of them at once? Oh, it did. Good. We got the uh, secondary objective then. That should be it. We sabotaged all the contraband. We have. And there's that guy. What's his name? Milner. He'll be annoyed. Now we know where he is. We just have to assassinate him now. Start by getting rid of this guy. So where is he? He's the one in yellow. He's the yellow one. Not because he's running away or anything, just because that's the colour his uh, outline is. Okay, can we get this before he... Oh, I was hoping we could grab him before he... Uh... What's he doing? He's like kicking something. He's not happy because all the stuff blew up. We can draw him. We can drag him off when uh, when he comes back. I think the other one, possibly on the closest one in the red jacket, there, we might be able to pull off the thing as well. Kicking the ground in, in anger. Although it looks like maybe that guy's now just going to stand there. Oh, wait, he's going away. So now that'll change. Right, he's going to come over again. I hope. How long am I going to have to sit here until he comes over again? There are a lot of guys here. There are a lot of enemies in this area. I don't think he's going to come back. Oh no, just as I say I don't think he's going to come back, here he comes. I'm hoping I can do this without anyone else seeing me. Oh, he wasn't close enough for me to do it to at all, okay. Didn't expect that, to be honest. Get him. Well, this was a bad idea. Thought that we would uh, do a bit better than that, to be honest. Stealth out the window? Yeah, that's it ended. That's the stealth section ended. To be honest though, we just have to kill him and then run away. There it is. Mission complete. Although I'll probably still have to fight off those guys afterwards. I knew this day would come. Mr. Starrett was furious I lost the engines. Mm. So this is my comeuppance. Pearl Attaway led me to you, not Starrick. Yeah. And now we're gonna give her again. No worries, Lynn. I should never have come between Mr. Starrick and Miss Attaway. Family always stay together in the end. Wait. What do you mean they're family? Shit. We've been working for him all along by helping by doing this. His sister or whatever or whatever she whatever and whatever relation she is to him has been getting us to kill the guy that was in her way. Of getting back in with Staric, the guy that we don't want to help. Time for Pearl and I to have a real conversation. Tur turns out Pearl's uh, not being as honest with us as uh, we might have initially thought she was. Locate Pearl that away. She went that away. I don't know exactly which way she went, but we will find out. I think we can... I'm hoping we can now use this to get across all of the uh, tops of these boats. Without causing any bother. So although we didn't, uh, we didn't do it as stealthily as I might have liked to, we, we, we got by okay in the end. Okay, I'm going to have to jump in the water here. There's no... Going back there is not handy, but there is no, um... 
Oh no! <laughs> I thought for sure I was about to splatter on that boat. That would have been horrible. Whoops. Got yoinked away by that boat there. Oh yeah, right, pal. There we go. Okay. Can we get across here, do we think? We can? Okay, so we're gonna get back. Oh, there she is. There you are. What are There's you up Pearl. To now, Pearl. What's she up to? Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? So she's inside this building. Now we've got to deal with her. Kill that guy. Uh, there must be a way in, right? Oh, that window up there, look. I was certain he knew that I belonged to the Order and was there to end me. Imagine my delight when he told me his true purpose. An assassin helping the Templar cause. Yep. Isn't that delicious? It's Is that... Who's that? Is that Staric? You've lowered too much, cousin. In the room. You will there you go, so it is her cousin. Back. Yeah. Our new motorised buses will bring us both a lot Motorised buses? I'll need to arrange proper transport for the engines to get back to my factory. I want you at Waterloo, personally, to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Of course. So she's going to be there. Okay. May the father of understanding guide us. Today and in all of our future endeavours, cousin. There he goes, his cousin. Mm. Waterloo Station. Well, that's where we're going then. George, Waterloo. Again, just give it a shove. All right, so they were about to find me, I think. There. Oh, you're right, pal. How you did? See you later. Wait, how did they? There's no way they saw me there. No chance they saw me there. I was, I was, I was hidden. I killed that one guy, but there was nobody else in the room, was there? Maybe there was. And I didn't see them. There we go. Okay, so so after the foot is completed, we sabotaged two contraband at once and didn't touch the River Thames, and we unlocked a schematic for a black leather gauntlet. Now what? So now we've got... what missions do we have? So we've got his... oh yeah, they've got end of the line for, uh, for what's her name. Looks like that's the only story mission left at the moment. We have got like little things here where we can meet, like a thing with Charles Dickens and a thing with Charles Darwin, but let's just go for this. I think we can do those at any time. Let's finish off this mission, this, this bit of storyline. Clear out another uh, another one of his lieutenants, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I feel like what we're going to do here is we're going to jump to the fast travel point, save us a bit of running about. Not that I don't like running about in the game, but... You know, there's not really that much to do in, that, in those moments, I would say. We just want to get straight to, straight to the action as fast as we can. I might want to look, might want to fill up on bits and pieces as well to make sure I'm well equipped. Because the train hides out to see the assassination wall, we will do that as well. But first, we want to go here. There we dive, we're going that way. I don't know what we can expect in this mission. I guess we'll find out in a moment. I can expect that we need to kill somebody. Obviously. <laughs> that much we can be certain of. Pop in here. Oh. People falling down. There was also a person on the ground there. I'm not sure if they were unwell or hurt in some way. They've given me some stuff. All right, let's see. End of the line. Waterloo. Okay. Well, not if the train has already left. Assemble a team at Charing Cross. Get a team at Charing Cross. I'll send the engines there for you to recover. Okay. 
that's where we're going then. But we're going up there, into the station, to deal with these people. We can find the best route inside, the best door to get in. I think probably up there. There we go. I mean, we are just taking the most direct entry point here, to be fair, which probably isn't the best idea. I guess we'll see. Oh, we gotta get up there anyway. Or oh, could have gone in through the roof. Oh, I didn't want to. Didn't want to come in the ticket office. Won't be up there, so I'll just pop myself up there. There we go. Let's see what's see what we're looking at here. So we can stealth opportunity with the train conductor. And what else? Where the hell is that schedule? Central station's closed. Attaway's orders. Okay. We're going to assassinate Pearl. Okay, well, let's see what's happening here. You saw these blueprints, did you not? We also killed the security chief. There's a flaw somewhere? Hmm. So we got a stealth opportunity with uh, the train conductor and also a kill opportunity with the security chief. Let's just pop our uh, pop our eagle vision on and see if we can find where all those people are. Come on, chief, where are you? Some people there. Looks like the chief's up there. Um, is that the chief that's getting beaten up or something? That's the uh, security chief. Steal the train blueprints from the security chief. Oh wait, so who's the? All right, so we can deal with. I guess we can go and get him. See if we can find him. Oh, we're going to have to pass those two people, though. Uh, what else is there here? Before we do that, let's just see what else. Oh, there's the um, there's the train conductor. So we've got to speak to him. Do you know what? Let's do that, because he's just there, and there's no enemies around him. So let's see. Let's just see what he's got to say for himself. Seeing as we're here. Get out of our way. These people would be lost without my direction, and my direction comes from the station. Steal the train schedule. Once the order comes through, we will send you on your way to the central Free the station, station, chief. Use the secret passage. Okay. So the, well, not in there. There's a secret passage, and also we need to free the station chief. Now, oh, so that's got to be... That's the security chief's blueprints up the top there now. Drop down. So can we get in through here? Yeah, okay. Or at least I hope we can. Maybe we can't. No, it doesn't look like that's a way to get across to that area. We'll have to pass those guards in order to get there, it looks like. Unless we know what the secret passage is. How many guards are here? There's just one there. Oh, there's another one on the other side, isn't there? Wouldn't take much to lead a few of these josses astray. Just get rid of that guy. And that'll do us for now. That gets us past him. We need to steal stuff from that guy. Can I get up on this thing? I need to be able to get over to him. Okay, so we should be able to get to him that way. Trouble is, there's somebody else with him. Okay. Now, we could... Oh, that's not so good, actually. Does he go up those stairs? He does. Okay. That's our possible chance of getting hold of him, then. Now we could we could just pickpocket him, but I feel like we can just as easily just drop on his head and get rid of him. So we get that opportunity. All right, so we got the security chief's blueprints. Um, highlighted weaknesses, relative specifications made by a member of your team. Their name's not on our records. So there's a unique kill option where we can go from above her head. There it would appear. So let's do that. Can I get up on top of there now? No. Maybe we don't need to free the station chief. Because I think we can get there without too much bother. Can I get up on top of this? I need to get up on top of these 
beams though, because we need to deal with that person that's on top of the other train first. Okay, that's good. And then we can just shoot across. Although I'm assuming that we'll be able to drop down. I'm not entirely sure that we will, to be honest. That'll work. Uh oh. Oh shit, I need to be anonymous. I need to be anonymous to continue on with that. So I'm going to have to fight everybody before I can do that. I think we're okay here. I mean, we should be alright. I know I probably could have done that other mission, as, that other thing as well, and got the station chief out of wherever he is. I think we can do this just as easily, to be honest. This means nothing to me. I think that should be it. Once we kill him, I think we're anonymous, surely. What's the option here to assassinate her? Opportunity failed? Oh, my opportunity to assassinate her from the roof has failed? Wait, what? Well, I may as well just kill her down here then. Just shoot her. <laughs> Good partnerships are hard to come by. Yeah. Was as much Bad as one's much easier, thought. apparently. <laughs> it's business, Mr. Fry. One does what one must to come out on top. I know, that's why I just did that. Crawford will not take the news of my death lightly. He can be... He can be unpleasant, can he? Unpleasant when he's cross. Mm. I... I have I'm not surprised. So much. I don't want to lose my buses. Well, it's fine, you're losing your life instead. <laughs> I guess that solves that problem. I should have been a, I should have thought about that when I when I jumped on that person on the train, I should have realized there was gonna to be too many people around for that to work. But anyway, we're done. And escape with the train. There's no guard. We took out all the guards that were. Oh no, we didn't. Look. Although he looks like about the only one that's going to cause me any problems. I think getting out of here. And he's not going to cause me those problems anymore. So we can get to the front. Oh, there's a guy there. Can we get him as well? Is that an enemy actually? Oh, that one's not an enemy. Okay. I don't think. Oh no, they are. Okay, well, take a wee headshot there as well. Problem solved, and let's get the hell out of here with this train. Let's steal the train. So there's guys on the track. <laughs> oh, we don't want to watch those guys on the track. They're bad guys. Get rid of them. We don't want them. You're going to head off for a bit. No worries, then. Don't worry about it. It's fine. That's all right. Have a good, uh, have a good night. I'll see you when you, when I see you. All right, so we're done with that now. That's that mission over. Uh, sequence five, end of the line. We didn't do a couple of those things, but that's all right. Never mind. I presume we don't get back later. That's all right. Always happy to be here. See you in a bit. Alright. So Staric's cousin's dead. He's got to play the piano now. He's got a sad uh, a sad uh, music, in, musical interlude. Maybe he doesn't know actually yet. Maybe someone's about to come in and tell him. 
Yeah, he looks quite. He looks kind of sad though, doesn't he? It is as well. How we singing section? How <laughs> are we? Are we uh, I mean, musical sequence. And deem it but a faded light which beams within your eyes. When he definitely doesn't look. He definitely looks uh, unhappy. So I'm assuming he already knows. Oh wait, maybe I'm wrong. Mr. Starrick, I told hmm? you not to disturb me. Hmm? I think he knows. <laughs> To break your own to see in such a moment I would ask that you remember me. Well that you don't have to wait a few seconds as well for him to finish his crap song. <laughs> me. Crawford. Luster, she knew exactly when to by the hands of that savage. Exactly when to interrupt. He must be brought to justice. Pearl would not want justice. Pearl would want vengeance. Mm hmm She'd want her buses. The passion is most welcome, Miss Thorne. <clears throat> but we cannot let our emotions disrupt the lawful structures of society. If we do that, the enemy wins. Well, we're gonna win then. <laughs> It shall happen in the shadows. Miss Fry will hang from the gallows, and I will flay her brother as he comes to save That's her. That's what's going to happen, is it? I suppose it must be done. Take no chances. Increase the Templar presence in London. We alone. So there is a thought, a possibility as well. All those areas that I cleared up, yes. they might. Uh... They might take them over, and I think. I can't remember. We shall enter the vault and cast aside the shadows together. Won't be entering any vaults. Not today. A letter, a letter for me. For me? So the letter thing I've worked out is that you can go to sequence eight, but we're not going to go to sequence eight straight away. We're going to go normally through it. So we're up to sequence... I mean, as it is, we're up to sequence six anyway, so... Seven, eight... And I think then just Staric. So we're not that we're not that far away from finishing like the main kind of story part of things anyway. But this is where we are. Having, having uncovered her master plan, Jacob assass assassinated Pearl Attaway, recovered the internal combustion engines from the Templars. Now a mysterious letter leads Jacob to a plot that could put all of London's gold in jeopardy. While Evie forms a new plan to strike back at Lucy Thorne and reclaim the key to the Shroud of Eden. Let's see. What have we here? Boiler. This dredge character's meddling will be the death of us. He was wandering around the exchange today, asking far too many questions about the bank. All Should right. he discover my plan, you will face a far worse fate than losing your job. Signed, oh, yeah. Plutus. So this Plutus, Plutus is Starek's banker, hmm? What a name. I wager dredge will lead me to him. While you're out and about, do attempt not to destroy modern medicine or the London Transportation Network. I'll try. Don't make me laugh. Innocent lives hang in the balance. They depend because that's system. what I've done so far, I'm right? Not the one who let Lucy Thorne walk away. That's a good point as well, to be I fair. To rectify immediately. That is a good a point. For me? A letter. For me? Uh, okay, so that is done. We could do... Uh, we could have a look at his mission first. Um, just trying to think whether we do that or whether we... Do you know what? Let's continue on with Jacob. Seems we started with Evie. Let's let's continue on with Jacob for the moment. Get another one of his missions out the, out the way. Do, 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 do. Throwing knives for a silent weapon. I know. <laughs> da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. Alright, so here we go. 
there's his mission. That's what we want. Let's, uh... I don't want to jump outside. I want to go down... Go down the building. Because it looks like pretty much this building is where we want to be, so... Just at the front of it. So that's fine. We'll go over there. That'll get us what we need. There's one of those things in the middle of there, but I'm not overly concerned about that, to be honest. Oh, well, I didn't want to go there, but I guess I'm going to. Uh, where are we going now? Just down the building. Go down the building, what are you doing? There's no way to go down? Actually, no, well, he's probably right. There is no way to go down, I think. Can I, like, get down to something that will allow me to get down there? Just jump down. Yeah, we're fine. Right, so what's this mission here? Let's start with this. Yep. Look at the news. Uh, Jacob intends to hunt down Mr. Dredge to uncover Plutus. That's what we're going to do. Track down Mr. Dredge. <laughs> Boss feud ends in blood. I did. I'll take one. Here you go. I say we stop this goodwill towards strangers nonsense and focus on what oh, is this, is this really that trick that we're looking for is it is this dredge hard work will raise everyone up to success as go the titans of business so goes the world you kick over that guy's fucking cash yeah, these guys are fucking pricks man I have to deal with these cunts weak fool. deal with these dickheads proper pricks man Best guards money can buy won't do Mr. Dredge any good. There you go, pal. You have your paperback. I was wanting his money. Do not kill any policemen. We've got to locate Mr. Dredge and not kill any police. It looks like we're allowed to be in here. It's like a public place, I guess, so everyone's allowed inside. I think I found Mr. Dredge. There he is. Look. I mean, I'm allowed to be in here, so there's no reason for us to, to worry about what's happening. But we need to wait and see if that's him. Then we need to wait until he's somewhere where we can we can kidnap him without anyone noticing. So we'll stay near him until we find him in an area where it's not too bad. Where he's not sort of blocked in. Or where we're not blocked in by police, I suppose. So, like, he's going that way. Is he going to go past that? No. However... We might be able to get him if we can get around behind... Well, I was going to say behind him, but... Alright. Damn it! Oh, that's that then. Well, that's not going to work out. I thought maybe that was the right angle to take him down from, to be honest. Now we've got to find the guy. I think our best option is just to get out of here. If we can. Ow. If we can get away from them, that would be ideal. Trouble is, the police are still right there. Yeah, we're not going to do, we're not going to do it that way, clearly. I don't want to kill him. Shit! We failed the mission because Dredge is dead. <laughs> Welcome in, Father Demon. Well, as it was, we were fucked anyway at that point, I would say. I thought that that would have been the ideal place to get him as well, because he was out of sight of the... I thought he was out of sight of the officers. But the trouble was that other policeman came. If that other policeman hadn't come to talk to that first one, I think we'd have been alright. Maybe if I stand over in that side of the, um, the building. That would work. I don't know. Right, we know where he is. I'm just run in. Sorry, officer. Pardon me. That wasn't ideal either, just running into them. So that's the guy we want. We're not going to get him over there, but maybe... What I'm hoping is maybe we can get him over here somewhere. But the trouble is, we're going to get attacked by that policeman. 
Oh, if I hadn't run into him, to be fair, we'd have been alright there. That's entirely my fault for running into them as I came in the, in the building. It's only a secondary objective we're failing with that, but... Ah, in fact. Listen, it's only a secondary objective we were failing with that, but... Yeah, I shouldn't have run into the guy. If I, had, if I hadn't run into the police officer, we'd have probably been okay there. So we'll try that again without running into people. We'll just walk in. It was fine when I walked in the first time. Maybe we should just walk, not run. Just draw attention to yourself straight away by doing that, don't you? Alright, here we go again. This time, we'll do it. There is a door I noticed on that side, over there somewhere. Oh yeah, it's there, look. There's a door here. I'm thinking that might be a good place to get him out from if he appears over here somewhere. Because yeah, if he was to come here... Bear in mind, he does go up that way a bit. We might be able to get him over here. So let's just wait over here for him to approach. He's there, we can see him, but he's surrounded by police in that area. We know there was the, this one here. The one that's talking to the other one just now was the problem the first time. He walks to him, talks, and then goes away. So I think what we need to do is wait until he walks away from talking to him and then I think we can probably grab him blend into the crowds well I'm okay here um, it's a little different with this with this one the trouble is what I need to do is wait for him to to make his way to the place that I'm that I can grab him from because the trouble is I have to walk holding on to him so if they see me at all holding on to him it'll still uh, They'll spot me and follow me. So it's not quite as straightforward. It's a bit more difficult walking him around. He does seem to have taken a completely different path this time. Like he's gone a completely different way than, than the way he went before. The trouble is you kind of you kind of have to kind of attack him a wee bit for him for him to be kidnapped. Potentially. Yeah, so many police. If he would just look away, if he would just turn away, we'd be sorted. We can't do it right, right under his nose there, because he'll definitely, uh, he'll definitely spot me. Here would probably not be the worst place to do it, but. He does obviously go towards that police officer at that stage. Okay, so... The issue we had last time was that policeman there. But if I wait till he walks away, we should be clean. We should get away clean here, because he goes this way. He does walk that way. Can I get him here? I was hoping I could get him there, but see, so... Although I was out of sight, they're still looking for me. Keep your eyes ahead of you and walk. I think we're okay. If we can get outside, we'll be okay. You are barking up the wrong tree, sir. There is a policeman watching us, but I think we can get out of sight. Without too much problem. There we go, see? Now, wait a I minute. What that's all about. We just had to get him in an angle in an area where the police wouldn't notice us immediately. It is me, I. He knows who I am. Let's walk him down the street here. I actually think we should go the other way. He'll have me arrested? What for? I'm trying to protect you. We just have to get him out of the, out of the red bit. <laughs> There we go, right. It's a fairly easy start, to be honest. Jacob, 
It's me, Sergeant Frederick Aberline. Oh, it's Aberline. Freddy. Sergeant. Undercover. There's to be a robbery at the Bank of England. I'm sure of it. Robbery? It's a fortress. Mm, the boys at the station thought I was... an inside job. Wouldn't be so funny if it was their life savings. Who's behind mm. it? That's confidential. Oh, come on, Freddy. I can help you. Imagine the headlines. Thieves caught in the act. Abilene Wright all along. That would be good. There would be good headlines for him, wouldn't they? Every fiscal quarter, a branch of the bank is robbed. Never the same branch. Every quarter? Thieves are supplied by... Cockham Merchants. Cockham Merchants? Thanks for the info, Freddy. It's Sergeant! I, 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 I'm keeping my eye on you! you. Okay, well, we got him out of there without any major problems, and we didn't kill any police. There we go. Most importantly, you've also unlocked a Jade Kukri, I think. It's nice. We did it, though. We got him. No problem at all. So what's next, mission-wise? Because I think that was it. That was the whole mission for him. That's his next one. Uh, a spot of tea. Let's go straight for that. And again, let's just fast travel. A lot easier. <laughs> oh, that 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 child that bumped into him started glitching out. Started glitching out into him. Excuse me, sir. And then bouncing around. Do 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 do. Ah. Ah. All right, let's move on. To the next thing. So the next mission is that one. Also apparently one of those London um, secrets there, so maybe pick that up while we're here too. Yeah, I don't think um, in this game, I seem to think, I seem to remember that a lot of the stuff that worked in previous things doesn't work so well. I, like, I was hoping I could jump over to like one of the, uh... oh there, okay. I can, see. can I not get over to one of the things there? I can, so it's good. Oh, and I picked up a helix glitch too. People are like, what the hell? What's that guy doing? He just jumped off a... Okay, so it looks, there's something here. Oh, that's one of those pressed flower things we got. And I think if we go up on the roof here, we'll get what uh, the secret of London is. There it is. What is it? What's going to be in here? Maybe another one of those little assassin plate things. If we get all of those, we can unlock a secret. I don't think I've got enough to be thinking about that just yet. All right, so I chat to him. Spot a tea. Got to follow the cock and weapon traits. Crate traits, crates rather. If only I knew which shipment it was. Is so they tracking a shipment? Trace the weapons to their owner. Okay. Capital idea, Freddy. Sergeant, you mean? <laughs> All right, so basically we need to get. Here we are, the shipping docks. Now, where are the Cockham crates intended for Mr. Plutus? Where are the Cockham crates for Mr. Plutus? Where are the Cockham crates? Well, let's go for a wee walk. Locate the smuggled Cockham weapons. He's having a wee juggle, that guy. I hope I didn't knock his uh, things out of his hand. Oh, I might have done. Sorry about that, pal. He was juggling and I just knocked his balls out of his hand. If you excuse the expression. Do, 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 do. A what? Well, I didn't actually mean for that to happen, but uh, I thought that they wouldn't see me from that angle. I seem to get away with that. 
All right. Anyway, let's search these. Let's search these carts while we're here. Where the devil is it? It's not in that one then. I guess. Two more though. It looks like there's one there and there's one up a bit higher. How many guards are there between me and there? Can I? No, I don't want. Why? 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 There we go. So we throw a knife situation to help us out there. Triple headshot. And loot those bodies while we're here. There's only one enemy there still, by the look of things. Is it this cart? T. Maybe later. That's that's a uh, full of tea. That's not what we wanted. I see someone. Okay, there's more than one guy there. I just didn't see that one apparently. Easy enough to just take these guys down, to be fair. Just do this. Smash my face in, come on then. Do it. It feels quite satisfying actually, you know, fighting these people toe to toe. As Jacob. He can handle most people without too much difficulty. Hello. What's he found? Especially if he's leveled up a bit, I guess. Right, so now we've got the cart marked. Now to wait for the crates to be retrieved. Just loot these bodies while we're here. Hide until the cart's departure. Just a wee Batman. A wee Batman set situation. We'll hide on the roof. Okay, so there's the crates. There's the shipment. Now we can see where they're going with it. It's a shame I can't stop in for a pint. Target must reach its destination. Avoid being seen. Okay, so we're just tag it with in eagle vision so we can see what's happening. Damn this fog! Thankfully, I can see him because of our uh, extra vision modes. Another rope there we can run along. Uh, can you go back on the rope, please? Damn it. The trouble is sometimes climbing on stuff is easier said than done accurately, you know. Alright, well the good news is we're we're near them again. Not entirely sure where they're off to, but We've managed to find them again. Why are they stuck here? What's going on? Well, now they're moving. Okay. Taking their time. My dear sister oh. thinks I'm destroying things. Why is he not? I'll show her how I set it Takes forever to bloody get moving there. That's not what I wanted to do either. It's just so slow catching up with things. Like, you think that you should be able to keep up with things quite easily, but it's not quite as uh, good at that as uh, as you might hope. They're turning left now. I have 20 seconds. I've got to be close enough. Thankfully, I was, but, you know, you've got to be close enough within a specific time scale. Otherwise, you lose track of them and then you have to start all over again. They're getting out of the cart there, though, so it looks like we might be okay. Now what's happening? Oh, he might be just, he might just be just trying to speak to his pals. I don't know. Uh, where can I go there? I mean, they're going to have to go through underneath that railway bridge, I guess. Assuming they get back on the carriage. Somebody else is getting on the carriage. Oh, 
He just ran people over. Okay. He just ran all those guys over trying to get where he was going. Ah yes. Lead me to Mr. Plutus. He's going that way, look. He's definitely taking a bit of a roundabout way to get wherever he's going here. Oh shit, I didn't want to go down there. We might be in trouble here now. Um, unless I can get close enough. A little foot here, I think we're okay. Do we getting back on the roof, I think. Definitely. Getting too far away. Come on, hurry up. Oh, it's taking too long. We're miles away from the guy as well now. Absolutely miles away from him because I got bloody caught up in... Because I fell to the ground, to be honest. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, now we got to locate him again. Pain in the arse. If I hadn't lost him in that moment, we'd have been alright, but... Now I don't know if I'm going to catch up. Oh, come on. Just running into everything and... His, uh, his traversal is pretty kind of, kind of annoying, to be honest. Because we were doing all right there until until I fell fell off that roof. We were keeping up okay, and then suddenly we fell off that roof and we're done. You know. I just wanted to get down to the train tracks so we could kind of run round. Now what I'm wondering is, will it be from when he changed and took over, or will I have to go right back to the start of following the other people here? Hopefully not, huh? I would hope that that's a checkpoint and we can just follow from there. But that was really annoying. To be honest, I do think when we went on the train track the first time, we probably should have just stayed on the train tracks there. Because he did a bit of a circle, but he did come right back to the train tracks. So... Right, there it is. That's them changing. I'm just going to go up here. We, we know that that's where they're going to go. Unless I think I know that's where they're going to go. Templars. There we go. The carriage is there. Now, last time we followed that. All the way around this. I don't really think we need to do that, to be quite honest. Where does he go? He goes there, then he goes left. Ah yes, lead me to Mr. Plutus. I think if we... The only thing I was concerned about with staying on the train tracks was whether I would actually be able to do it and keep up with him. So this is where the problem was yeah, last time, wasn't it? I think he goes right at the end of this road. So we're going to go on top of a building in completely the opposite direction from where I was facing. Target's too far away it says. Yeah, see he turns right there. We're definitely a lot closer than we were the first time though. Why are you going that way? So I mean he just... The angle, the direction that you're going to go on there. Hey, Groby, how you doing? The angle that he decides to go there is completely random and always a pain. And now I've got to try and locate him again. It looks like he's turning left, but look how slow we are here. I've got no way of keeping up with this guy. It's actually a pain in the arse. Really frustrating. Sorry, Groby, I'm just trying to focus on the, this mission, so I'm getting a bit annoyed with the fact that we can't seem to keep up with it, with this guy. Yeah, I just cannot keep up with that vehicle. And part of the reason is because every time we were moving, when we were trying to move there, we were getting launched in completely the wrong direction with the, the, the zipline thing. 
Like I'm facing one way and it's shooting me back behind where I was. Why? No idea. Because it's a pain in the ass, that's why. I will try again. But no, good to see you. Hope you're doing alright. And that mission's going to annoy me. Potentially. <laughs> alright, so maybe... Maybe the solution here this time is... Oh, wow, and there I got some flickering. That wasn't good, though. Get on top of there. Get up on top of there, you bloody idiot. So I think the thing to do here is, right, we know that that carriage is going to start moving. It goes round in a circle and goes over there somewhere. So I think once it gets moving, we'll hop over there to that building that we can see. Right, so here they come. I'm just going to shoot over to that building there. Because he's going to come this way anyway. So we may as well get ahead of him instead of being behind all the time. Ah yes, lead me to Mr. He's going to come this way, and then he's going to go that way, right? So I can kind of keep ahead of him for now, but eventually we start losing him. So what happened before was I ended up going over to the left-hand side of the road, and he turns right, and that lost me a lot of time going the wrong way there. Really lost me a lot of time. So if we can keep going the right way, we'll be alright. Now, good to see you too, Groby. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> alright, so we're still okay. Keep him in mind. Keep him. Keep our eye on him. Oh shit, this is where we lose him because I can't get off the fucking building quickly enough. To be honest, I'm wondering whether I'd be better to take a cart at this stage. I'm hopeful we're far enough behind that we can just follow him on foot, actually. From here, that definitely works a lot better. Alright, there we go. This might work. What I'm thinking is we could maybe take that car that carriage. The only trouble is we'll end up going far too fast if I take the carriage. And we're close enough to see him here, so I think we'll just stay on foot for now. Because we're not that far away. Okay, now. Oops. That's a mistake. Oh no, wait. I think we found where we're going. It's fine. Same routine as before. There we go. The two penny opens a vault, we robs it and leaves the money in his store. You're good, glad to hear it. Look sharp. The boys are waiting. To the Bank of England. Yeah. Going to the Bank of England, are they? Spot a T completed. There we go, we did it. Mission complete. Plutus is twopenny. Plutus is twopenny? Is he alright? Who's that? Alright, so there's two of his missions there. Where's his next one? Sometimes you have to do one of the ones with Eevee before you can do any of the others. Looks like that's the case. Sorry for not writing, you made the scene get your full attention. No, fair enough. It was a bit of a tough sequence. But I caught, I managed to do it. I managed to do it eventually. It was just kind of annoying because every time I did it by jumping from roof to roof, it wasn't, we weren't keeping up with them. As it turns out, running after it was the best option. <clears throat> Which is a bit silly in itself, isn't it? You know, running after it, you wouldn't think she'd be a good option at all. <laughs> Whee! Alright, here we go. Here we go. What's next? Alright, so, before I... Well, we got to jump down first anyway. Jump down. I'm going to check what gear he's got, see if there's anything we can upgrade. Uh, he's got five skill points to spend as well, so... These cost... These cost four, those cost two. So if we do one of them, we won't be able to unlock anything else. Tell you what, let's do this. Defense two. He takes, like, far less damage. I feel like that's a good idea. Alright. Uh, 
And then we'll move on to, well, it's Evie's mission next anyway, so it's not going to make a huge deal of difference. It's not my mission. Scare bullies. Who? I didn't scare them. We didn't scare them, unfortunately. I tried. Apparently it wasn't scary enough. Alright, so let's do this mission now. One good deed. Evie visits Southwark after Jacob assassinated Pearl and shut down her omnibus company. Let's see, so we're, we're Evie now. The Pokemon. <laughs> I will not build a single bus for you criminals. Oh, you'll do as we say, Bailey. Or we're gonna have to pay you and your family a visit. You leave them be. Are oh, we just going straight to the the immediate immediately on the attack? Are we? We're going immediately on the attack there. Like it was great. You love the simplicity behind it. You keep it. But today, you earned yourself a new classic wallet. You tend to get a lot of money these days. Your classic wallet's more useful. Yeah, if you yeah, I mean, if you get a lot of cash, then yeah, that makes sense, you know. Well, that's that guy away. Whoops. There's him dealt with as well. It's in for me to go right. I'm protecting this guy, so I don't know. I don't know if that's the best option, to be honest, but we'll do it. I thought we just flew off. Get back in Edward's cart to continue the mission. We've got to get in this guy's car, have we? Drive Edward's carriage. That's how we've got to turn around. Back to the omnibus factory. Calmly. Just a wee U-turn there. Take deep breaths. They're gone. Hang a wee U-turn and go back. Classic wallet's more useful. Yeah, if you've got cash, you need something that's going to hold cash. You know, these ones that are just that are just for cards are all well and good. But if you if you do need money. You know, they're kind of a pain in the arse, and you need another, a different wallet. Whereas if you've got something that holds everything, it probably works out a bit better for you, you know? Particularly if you've got a lot of coins. Sometimes you can do alright with notes in these things, but... They want to form a united transport company. We're holding stuff for situations you don't have much with you. The eye clip's definitely the one you're looking for, but the classic one's more makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Potentially. It depends what, as I say, it depends on what you're using, doing with it. Because, as well, I mean, potentially, you know, some, one of those clip things is very easy to, very easy for someone to, to get hold of, potentially, if you... If, if they can get in your pocket, obviously, but... Restricted area. Just depends what you're up to, though, doesn't it? But if you... If, yeah, I mean, the main the main situation is you just need to be able to carry plenty of, you know, stuff. I don't know if a BMW M merch shop's got carbon details in it. All right. Interesting. The deed must be on that guy that we're that saying to steal from. Let's open this thing while we're here. Right, looks like we got to do a bit of sneaking. Still love the eye clip. Well, that's cool. You know, if you if, if you've got a need for it, then it makes perfect sense. Your wallet's got a chain on it. That's another option as well. Yeah. Get one of those wallets with a chain. Oh no! Don't uh, don't shoot him because then everyone will know I'm here. I just have a wallet that I stick in my pocket, to be honest, but... If I need it... With me. Alright, well we dealt with him, although unfortunately some other people might have uh, realised that I was here. Thankfully they didn't realise... ...quickly enough.
There's also a person below me with a gun. Do not let the target exit the factory. It looks like we're okay for the moment. So this one below has a gun and is looking for me, but they can't see me. Jane, because you kept dropping it. Yeah, I mean, it's handy, you know. It, it, it's one of those things that can be quite good. Have I got to get out? Have I got to take him? Did I need to take him with me or did I just need to steal something off him? I thought I just had to steal something off him. But yeah, that's it. It's handy, isn't it? You know, having that sort of stuff. If you're, if you're likely to drop something. I don't actually know if I'm supposed to take him. But we're taking him now. All I wanted to do was pinch the thing out of his pocket. Well, that's a bad idea. I can see straight away that going that way would be a bad move. There's not a door out this way, though. I think the only way out is that way. I don't actually know if I need to be if I need to walk with him and here. I feel like I'm just putting myself in more danger than I need to be in. But you know what? It's working. It's worked so far. You had the iClip since you got it like half a year ago, so in your daily use. Yeah, I just, I always look at those kind of clip wallets. I don't really like them, to be honest. I feel like they're, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of that type of wallet, to be honest. But, you know, people like them, obviously. People use them. I'm happy with just a regular wallet. rather than something extra because <laughs> then you have to switch back and forth between them you know and change change where you're uh, you're keeping your cards or whatever and find it better just to keep them all in the same place all the time mine's like a little velcro mine's like a velcro sort of thing but i'd rather just stick with the same thing all the time to be honest I mean, it's not that my my one's not I that big. I mean, it's message. like like you that size. You know, sick. that's it's that size. So it's not you know you huge. Brilliant. It's got a bit of change in it at the moment. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. It's fine. It's stick that in my pocket. Moral men, <laughs> all of them. We'll have buses rolling before you know it. Thank you, Miss Fry. Got him what he wanted. The buses. We'll run again. Don't let the target exit the factory. We didn't. We unlocked a schematic for a Mirage Gauntlet. Nowadays you got lots and lots of money like paper cash and coins and the Eclipse practical but not made for that. No, exactly. That's fair enough. End up throwing the coins in your jeans pocket like, yeah, and you loose coins are obviously not ideal, are they sometimes? <laughs> when you're walking around or, or whatever, loose coins can be a bit of a pain. Where's the next mission here? Maybe we have to go back to the train? Because I'm not seeing a marked mission. Let's go back to the train. See if that's what we have to do. Yeah, that's exactly it. You don't want to end up with lots of coins stuck in your pocket, you know. It's definitely easier to keep them in a wallet. But you could get yourself a little bag. Get yourself a little pouch. A little coin pouch. I'm joking. Don't get a coin pouch. <laughs> that just hangs off your belt. <laughs> I think a wallet's always, for me, preferable. A letter, has come for Jacob. a letter for me. It just doesn't sound like you. Oh, is that? Yeah, there's my next mission, Luke. Green's got my next mission. Let's see what we can unlock here, by the way. Delivery service. More hanging barrels will allow us to drop more on enemies. We've got explosives. Unlock the first will take bomb upgrade. Let's do that. That's a good idea. 
Someone says you throw your coins in the jean pocket, it doesn't fit in your right clip anymore. I've forgotten. Throw the jeans with the coins in it in the washing machine. Yeah, that's not that's not ideal either if you do that. No, that's very true. If you end up sticking them in the washing machine, that's not going to help you much. And do you know what? Let's get that as well. Let's get the delivery service upgrade. Is there anything more I can upgrade there before I jump straight into that? What about that? Do you know what? Let's get that one as well. Although I feel like I probably just missed out on some actual like upgrades that we could have used there for like weapons and stuff. I bet you I have. I have ruined some of my potential crafting options. Yeah, I probably could have unlocked something before. We can't now. But you know what? That's fine. Uh, our next mission is this one. A thorn in the side. We're looking for Miss Thorn, the key. Details of the key that Thorn stole from us. Hmm. What good is a key if you don't know what locket opens? That's a good point. I dare say Miss Thorn is in the same predicament. Henry, Mr. Green, here, this is it. That's it? This matches a casket owned by the Queen. Kept a casket owned by the Queen? London. It's a fortress. I don't suppose you have any friends there? A guardsman? If you can find him once you're inside. So we're going to get inside the I'll Tower of London you first, have we? Thank you for your help. <laughs> right, yes. Well, good luck. Evie. Just breaking the Tower of London. There we go. That's what we're doing. <laughs> you already lost paper cash. You forgot them in your jeans and washed it. Didn't have time to clip them in your clip at the cash desk. Just into the pocket. Yeah. Yeah, I always make sure that I get the money back in my wallet before I move. I always make sure the money's safe. Safely tucked away before I go anywhere. Do, 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 do. All right, where are we now? We're trying to get into the Tower of London, Luke. It's 1868, and we're trying to get into the Tower of London. Lots of guards. Well, that's that's a surprise, eh? Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. We got to stick to the shadows. Hmm. Somehow we've got to kill fewer than five royal guards. Well, we'll try not to kill any if we can help it. Obviously, there's no guarantee of that. I mean, to be fair, I didn't have to go in the water here. I probably could have gone a different way there, but... Can we get up on top of something? The trouble is, getting up on top of the towers here is probably actually the worst idea, because that's where the guards are going to be. Eye clip's not made for quick action. you got to unfold it. Flip it in, then fold it back together. Tricky. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's another reason why I wouldn't want something like that, you know? I'd prefer something that can just get the money in my pocket quickly, back in my pocket quickly. Not have to worry about that kind of thing. Oh, wait. I need it to be there. I'd rather, I'd rather keep something that I know is easy to use. You kind of think, what's the point of... It's almost pointless having it if, if the ease of use is actually... Not as good as a as a classic kind of wallet, you know. That matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Halt! Escort to the keys. Halt! Who comes there? The keys. Whose keys? Queen Victoria's keys. Pass Queen Victoria's keys, and all's well. Oh, what happened there? Someone's been killed. You're not with the royal guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. Okay. Let me go. This is treason! It's just a constable. So those constables have been locked in, so they're they're uh, they're breaking in. Uh, so we could take down an al uh, kill the allied guard, assist the constable, get the key from the chief yeoman, maybe. Queen Victoria's keys off the chief chief yeoman. Who's down below us? Anything around me here? We need to mark as many of these guards as we can, obviously as well, so we see where they're all going. Right, so there is the keys. There are the keys, but there are some of the bad guys, Luke. Just pop over to this rooftop. So, there's a kill one. There's the one where we get the keys. I'm just going to pop up on top of the tower here to get over there. We can get the one that's locked, uh, get the kill first. Uh oh. Did 
Didn't want to get caught by the guards. Shit, we're going to get seen by that one there, though. Might be okay to get up here now. Shit, maybe not. Okay, good news is we made it up there without too much trouble. Right, so that's the kill option. I think we can get there right now, to be honest. If he's on his own, all the better. Friends, aren't you? Huh? I am, yeah. What are we doing here? Why can I not do anything with him? Yeah, I am. I'm one of Green's friends. What's going on? I can't. I don't seem to be able to. Ah, there we go. I did. I was. I didn't seem to be able to identify him for a moment there. Yeah, I'm Green's friend. That Thorn Woman has Templars everywhere, disguised as guards. I think I could pass as one of them long enough to sneak you inside. Except the guards out here already know my face. Okay. Need to deal with them first. Meet me by the White Tower. I have to ring. deal with what the. I have to deal with the guards. Kill the disguised Templars. Fair enough. We can do that. I think. Yeah, ideal if we could get an angle to hit him with. I just told your dad you got yourself an eye clip. He was like, "Happy sure it works out." I was asking yourself when you're going to go back to the classic wallet. He was right. Yeah, I think that's the thing. You know, you realise that sometimes these things aren't ideal for every situation, and it is weird because a lot of people act like it's like a, it's a great replacement for that, and it, and I don't. As I say, I, I've never really understood why. I need to be able to take that guy out. Unless, obviously, you never use cash at all. If you only ever use cards, then it's not a big problem, I suppose. But... Obviously, if you use cash, it's kind of... a bit of a pain more than anything else, I would think. Can I get into this tree or something? I need to be able to get an angle where I can hit him with this. This knife. Definitely practical, don't get wrong, but for now the classic one makes more sense. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's practical for certain situations, isn't it? Right, can I? I can't. We could have got him there. When I dropped down there, he came, he came towards where I was. I think that's one. That's one down. And he's out of sight, so that's handy too. Okay. Where are the rest of the people in disguise? They're both over there. That's, uh, Okay. So we've got more disguised guys here. We've got one on top of the tower as well. And one down the side there. So we've got a sneak round. But yeah, it's practical as long as... Uh, as long as you don't need it for anything that it can't do. You know? <laughs> Shit. He sees what I'm up to. No way. How did he see what, what I'm up to? Oh shit, there's a lot of guards there. He'll laugh out loud when he sees you got a classic one again because he knows he was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, absolutely. He is, you're right. With good reason, maybe. <laughs> can I get across here without being seen? Yes, I can. Good. So there's another guard there. I think we can get him quite easily, to be honest. The only trouble is these other, these real guards, obviously, are going to be a problem. Yeah, he's gonna, he will, he'll laugh out loud as you say, he'll... Okay, we can get him by dropping that stuff on his head when he's underneath it. As soon as he goes underneath, we can nail him. Like that. And then we just need to get up into the tower to get the other guy. Now, who's that? That is... Oh, that's the guard that we were. So now we need to get into the tower here, out onto the main building of the tower. Good news is, I think we can take him from here. Okay. We managed to do it without killing any actual guards as well, which is definitely handy. Oh, I've got no knives left. That's going to be a problem. 
So if I shoot him with one of these darts, he'll die. He will kill some people. But technically it isn't me killing them. I don't think that should count. If he kills a... Oh, they killed him quickly anyway. That's fine. Get back to the guy then. Where is he? Again. The allied guard is there. Get back to him. Oh. I think we're up high enough that they don't see me, so I think we're alright. Oh shit. Wait, is he just out in the street now? I say in the street, obviously it's not a street, it's the grounds of the tower, but yeah. I think we're good. Once I get out of sight. There you go, I've uh, dealt with that. The out here. What's next? Miss Thorne wants me captured. If she sees me in chains, she might let her guard down. She might let her guard down if she sees me in chains? You mean pretend like you're my prisoner? I'll do my best, ma'am. So we can pretend we're a prisoner. Uh, interact with the guard. Pretend to be captured. We'll be escorted. Control your speed with L and RT. Move slower to shrink your detection radius. Avoid being detected by Templar guards. Alright. Wait, but then... If we get too close, those Templars might realize I'm not one of theirs. Then let's keep our So distance. we gotta try and move slowly when we're near the tep when we're near the guards, in case we walk into Templar guards. So the best option is for us to stay as slow as possible. If we are detected, then that can be a bit of a problem. But we've managed not to kill any royal guards, that's the most important thing. I've caught the assassin! Open the door! Inform Miss Thorne I'm bringing in the assassin! Ha! You got her! Good man! Right. So now... Are they going to let me in? At least the good thing is, the new wallet will hopefully last long. Don't normally like that, but it's made out of real leather. You at least expect it to last long. A granny walk? Yeah, it's a very slow walk. It's going to take us forever to get where we're going. <laughs> it kind of feels like that, doesn't it? Nice to see an assassin in chains for once! Yeah, well, you'll be seeing an assassin out of chains in a minute. Right, I think we're okay to walk a little faster now that we're out of his, out of his sight. I wager you won't like what Miss Thorne has in store for you. Well, you're probably right. She probably, I probably won't like what she has in store for me. If uh, it wasn't for the fact that she won't like what I have in store for her either. I found her wandering inside the walls, ma'am. Thought you'd want to speak with her. Welcome, Miss Fry. Do you care to tell me where the shroud is? The shroud? The shroud of what? As you wish. I shall find it without your help. And then I'll strangle you with it. Strangle me with it? Watch her closely. Been captured here. What's the problem? Yes! There's your Lucy Thorn. Straight in the bin. So, you have murdered me after all. But what good will that do you? The shroud isn't here. The most important thing is that the Templars don't have it. Feeling in order to extend your own power. Not mine. Ours. You are so short-sighted. You'd hoard power and never use it. When we Always the same thing with the Templars, isn't it? Well, we'll use this stuff. This, this stuff I that people probably shouldn't have their hands on. You have no idea what it truly can do. Tell me then. No. Oh well. She's dead. Yeah, don't forget to collect a bit of blood on your handkerchief. But, you know, we got rid of one. Got rid of another one. So that's good. You'd better go. We can finish the rest of them. You can finish the rest of them? Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. I just wanted to get out. I'll give him a hand. 
There we go. I need to find a way out. Is there a way out over here? There's a window over here. Maybe I can... Oh, wait. So I need to escape from the Tower of London. Oh, shit. I'm not sure running up the stairs is the way to do that. Oh, no, there we go. That's fine. I don't want to kill any royal guards, so we're just going to escape. Sorry guys, don't mind me, I'm just escaping, okay? I'm not I'm not fighting anybody, it's fine. I'll leave you guys to defend yourselves. Sorted, look. We've escaped out of there without any problem at all. <laughs> they were too busy dealing with other people. No doubt those Templars uh, will learn some lessons in there. There we go, Thorn in the side completed. Thorn in my side. She won't be that anymore. Not that anymore. Take this down. Then I want it sealed until you receive further orders. What's this? Miss Thorn. You supplied me What's with means to secure London's future. The city thanks you. Another of his Your allies is dead. I thank you. But the shroud can only be worn by one. I suppose that's true. Depends how big it is, doesn't it? The what if it's like a really big shroud? I promise to endow you with an income into your own. Oh, he was planning on nicking everything off her that's anyway. She's dead, so he doesn't have to worry, but. Father of understanding guide you. He was. Yes, what is it? Miss Thorne, sir. What of her? She's I'm dead. Sorry, sir. She is dead. Oh, get rid of that letter then. Burn it. And the key. Oh, he's happy. He's happy Where that she's dead. Key? That's the, the... There was no key found on her body, sir. There was no key found on her body, sir. Well, the good news is, he doesn't get anything. He was planning on cutting her out of the whole thing, and now he gets nothing. The shroud will be mine. Even if I have to raise hellfire to do it. Burn the letter. Mm -hmm. He was planning on cutting her out of all his plans. And now his plans are all... Well, they've all gone to shit, haven't they? We, l we waited an awful long time for him to get out of that scene there. <laughs> But we've dealt with him. Well, we don't dealt with her. I don't know if that was the end of that sequence or if we've still got more of that sequence to do. Not entirely sure. No. Just run left and right here because for some reason we're in this loading screen for an awfully long time. I mean, how quickly we can change direction there. All right, what's next? Are we back at the train and picking another chapter or? Nope, oh, it looks like, oh, there's the last. That's looks like that marked there is the last mission in this, in sequence six. So I guess, I guess we just go straight for it. Is this like the skull one's usually the final mission in the sequence, I think. Was it Sequence 6 or Sequence 7 we were on? It was Sequence 6 I'm on, wasn't it? I'm sure that... Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's one more before we do 8, which is the one that it was talking about with him getting a letter every bloody time we get on the train. My name is Mr. Fry. I believe you have a letter for me. I know that's Mr. Burns. Right, so we want to be there. Remember that Simpsons episode with uh, when we're trying to get Mr. Burns' letters? Couldn't because he didn't know what his first name was. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we get that letter. Well, not the letter, but we'll, we'll get onto this mission. And then I think that gets us into, as I say, uh, sequence uh, 7. I don't think there's too many left. I think there's only nine or ten of the story. 
obviously there's other kind of stuff, side missions with uh, the likes of your Charles Dickens and your Darwin stuff and all that, all those bits and pieces that are additional. I can't remember if I had any of the add-ons for it either. Oh, I'd say we're switching to Jacob for this one, based on who we're talking to. Do ding Ring that bell. Well, what say you? Mm -mm. You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies robbing the Bank of England. <coughs> there you go, they're robbing the bank. The governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. Mm -hmm. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. So the, you get in. the bank manager's robbing the bank. Of course. That was an inside but job. Do you know how I can get in? Okay, we got, we're breaking into a bank here. I mean, one way we could probably break in would be if... I don't, well, I don't know, actually. Well, there's not the one. Bank is designed to protect just out, just in through that window, look. <laughs> fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And, oh yes, one man keeps a close watch on the vault door. Mm -hmm. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to see it. Maybe we should God just let him see me straight away and then he seals it and nobody can get in. Two penny well. He is in on this. Oh, absolutely. 100%. 100% he'll be in on it. Mr. Fry. Please, use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardise him. No Oh, the police have got to catch him. This is the Bank of England. Yeah, 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 I know. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. <laughs> and another one of his, and another one of his crap disguises. <laughs> Tupini won't be leaving that vault. Nope. Assassinate him, so we got the bank manager as a stealth opportunity, we can kill the head of security, uh, or we can get assistance from the guy in the vault. What, get him to seal the vault or something, so that... So that they can't get out? Find the secret passage, it says as well. So who's that? That's the security chief guy there. So we kidnap him, apparently is the goal there. Okay, well, we might do that. There's a couple of different options we've got, though, here. Find the secret passage is marked there. So that's the Vault Watcher. If we strategy kill the Vault Watcher, tell me to kill him? I thought for a minute, I thought for sure that the best option would be getting the door closed on the guy. Fancy. Fitting for two pennies too. So I seem to kill him. I don't have any knives. If I had knives, we could kill him quite easily. I tell you what we could do. If I shoot him with that. Oh no, that didn't work. Apparently it wasn't strong enough to hit him. Wait, who's that? That's the bank manager. We could kidnap him as well. Okay, so that guy... Hey, Suncard, how you doing? Don't know. So, okay. Uh, we need to find the secret passage, reach the vault. Game's going okay, yeah, at the moment. No complaints so far. We could throw one of these voltaic bombs. I think that's a bad idea. Kidnap the bank manager. The trouble is with that is that the other guy will see and then that will create problems. I think? No, I don't think we could do that. I don't think that'll work. We could shoot him, but if I shoot him then I'm... 
Buggered. I feel like I should have reloaded all my knives before we started. I've got the... The security... The head of security needs to be kidnapped as well, but there's a lot of guards. Is there a way to that other side of the... Is there a way to get over there? Preferably a way that doesn't require... That doesn't mean the guards are going to see me. There's one guard in there. And the security guy. Whereas there's lots of guards over here. So I think... If we can get that way... Where's that guard? He's, he's, he's not looking at me just now. I might be able to draw him in here and get rid of him. Close enough for us to get him. Basically, I just need him to come over here so that he's not in the room anymore. And then we can maybe grab that guy. There we go. And there's no other guards in this part of the bank, apparently. So as soon as uh, we've got him, we should be okay. It depends where he goes, to be fair. It does depend where he goes. So doing there, he's playing with his shoes. Because there's a lot of guards. I mean, that side of the bank, there's far too many guards around. Right, he's coming back. Basically, I need to wait until he leaves the room and then follow him out. That's the best option. And then we can grab him. I'm going to do it just now, actually. As long as we don't get seen. Okay, there we go. Now we should be able to kidnap him without too much difficulty now, I think. Somebody must be after him. I hope. Can we get him before before it's too late? I don't know. Okay, where so where are we taking him? I have a family. He's in the vault ogling his priceless okay. paintings. So that's the head of security. Uh unique kill available. Right, basically all we needed from him, I think, was for him just to tell me where the guy was. Okay. We've got a unique kill available on the guy that's in the vault. It's a good start. Can I get out to that area where they are from here? Oh, I can, look. So we could maybe... If I can get round here, I might be able to just attract that guard... Wait. Why did he close the door? Why did he close it? There's no way he saw me there. So now I'm going to have to open the vault. How did he see me? I don't understand how that guard spotted me. Let's uh, get a bit of uh, space here to hopefully uh, take them down. To be fair, there aren't that many guards, but... Not my, not my favourite way to have done that, to be honest. I would rather have... Uh, I'd rather have uh, done things a little more neatly. But never mind. Yes, that's what we get. I didn't expect him to realise I was there, to be honest. I didn't spe expect him to realise I was there. Anyway, we're in. So now where are we going? That way. I guess. But yeah, I'm working my way through it quite happily. <laughs> okay. 
So there's a secret passage. And there's also a unique kill. There's a lot of guards in here. Ah, look, so we can, if we can hide in there, that's the unique kill that we could possibly do. Is there anyone coming from that side? Okay, we're okay. But there's two guards coming here, which makes me worry. We should be nearly finished by now. Yeah, they're going to come right past me. Where did he come from? <laughs> Right, I'm hopeful that because we did that quickly, no one will realise I'm here. Yeah, see, nobody's looking for me, so we're fine. Nobody's looking for me, so we're just fine. We're okay. Slight stealth failure for a moment, though. So we're supposed to hide somewhere there, I think, to kill the guy. Apparently there's also a secret passage. I'm not sure where the secret passage is though. So what's happening with these guys? Like, is there an easy way for me to get into that area that he's wanting me to go to? That's wanting me to go to, I wonder. I'm not entirely sure. What's that guy doing? He just walks back and forth. I think we can probably get him, to be honest, if we're careful. What are you laughing about? Is that him laughing? I'm not sure how we're supposed to get past all of these people though to get that kill when we could just drop on him here and kill him straight away. But I'd like to try and do the unique kill if I can. Let's take him down. Guy at the bottom of the stairs. Now, I'm just wondering how we can easily get in there to be honest. We want to hide in that room. There we go. Okay. Let's hide. It's the Natural History Museum. It's the Bank of England. <laughs> They're robbing the Bank of England. We're in the vault. This is God. Get him. Bite him. Attack him. Kill him. Why am I not killing him? Why am I not killing him? I'm not at it. <laughs> hey, reading your book about you're looking at your painting there. I've just ruined, I've just ruined a, a God knows how old painting. You stolen your <laughs> slicing it fully in half. Of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating. The They're creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. Well, good news is we dealt with them. Give them one of those coins. The path of the dead. Hmm. So he was trying to loot the place. Now, the other guy wanted him to get caught rather than killed, but um, I killed him, so... Aberline wanted him to be caught. Ruined that painting. I've no idea what that painting is, but I've absolutely destroyed it. The only trouble we've got now is that there are still some folk around here. Oh no, we're fine. Yeah, Alright pal, how you doing? What's it like being one of the Templars? Nobody's here. There's no intruder, you're wrong. 
You're wrong, there's no intruder. I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, I know. I don't know what happened, mate. What happened, do you think? Could it be that? Only two guards left. I think we can probably do this. Problem solved. Still says I should find the secret passage, but I've got no idea where that would be. Oh, there was one guard left, Luke. Oh, we don't need to worry about him. It looks like the secret passage it's talking about is at the back somewhere. Maybe we need to have a look for this. Let's get rid of him and then we'll look for the secret passage. We'll grab some gold on the way. It's here, apparently. Ah. Doesn't look like much of a secret, to be honest. How do I, can I use it? Oh, am I just supposed to climb up, probably? That's probably what it is, isn't it? I'm just supposed to climb up the inside of this lift shaft. Is this just like a way for like the bank manager to get in more easily or something? Afternoon. Alright, lads. Did you see that? It was weird. I know that we probably didn't have to fight these guys directly, but why not? That guy kind of caught me off guard a wee bit. I kill him. He said he's my better. Don't think he is. I don't think he is. I think we got him. I didn't find the secret passage. I thought that was the secret passage, like the lift thing. Apparently that wasn't. That's probably just how they would get all the gold bullion down into the, uh, down into the, um, vault, right? And we lift. The Bank of England is closed until further notice. Oh no. To be honest though, all that stuff that was in that bank was probably stolen as well, so I can understand I can understand the confusion. <laughs> Keep going. Alright, what's next? The currency a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffoon Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged. Wait, they're going to... What? Honor. Your honour carries little weight. Mm. How dare you, sir! Mm. The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I raised his staff? I would supply... I got more staff about... If I could. Does he mean he's giving people jobs? Is that what he's talking Sit about? in your club and wax poetic with promises your honour cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I Do you know what? I know this. I know this guy's a bad guy, right? Record out of the newspapers. But actually, some of the stuff he's about saying makes a lot of sense. Would offer <laughs> for your balls, about all the people, all this money being the problem. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other when we can have it all? What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? <laughs> No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again. Understood? You may see yourself. It's not a happy guy, this uh, this uh, Staric guy. He's seeing everything crumble around him. All his pals are getting killed. You might see the writing on the wall. A letter. For me? For me? There's a letter for him again. 
apparently this is that's to do with doing se se uh, sequence eight, which we will do after sequence seven, because I feel like we should do them in order. So there we go. Sequence seven's next. We've cleared everything through to that. So sequence eight is open and available, but I'm not going to do that just yet. We'll do sequence seven. All's fair in politics. Jacob and Evie have killed two of Crawford Starrick's agents, Philip Tupany and Lucy Thorne. But the Templars are far from defeated. A conspiracy to assassinate the Prime Minister takes Jacob to the Houses of Parliament. And despite Evie's triumph over Lucy Thorne, the quest for the Shroud of Eden takes a dramatic turn. Ooh. Dear Mr. Starrick, men hired. Strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father ex The Corrupt Practices Act. Is that an act to do more corrupt practices? Sterrick's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the <laughs> Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your hmm. indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. <laughs> There is there is some element that when you look at that it's like he's creating all sorts of uh, all sorts of problems, isn't he? I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. Nearly. I've got to get into a vault. A letter for me. A letter for me. For you, I. Looks like we got two missions for Evie. There, we've got a train. Possibly a mission on the train. I'm actually not seeing. Oh no, there's uh, there's uh, Jacob's mission there. Um, well, we played with him for a couple of missions, so let's go back to Evie again for a wee while, shall we? See what she's up to with finding the uh, finding the um, shroud. Not of Turin. Jacob did all, all his trust. Absolutely, he's just completely destroyed it. The difference will be that hopefully there'll be it'll be a bit easier to recover from because it looks like the money didn't was still in there they never got away with anything as far as i know so i don't know how it'll affect people i don't know how it would have affected people in like the 18 1870 or whatever i wonder i wonder how it would have worked like what that would have done to things right, right where was her mission there We're on top of a big grasshopper. What's the building with the big grasshopper on top of it? I think we can go in. Hello. There's like tailors and all sorts of stuff in here by the look of things. Where's Robert? It's like a kind of market almost, but more like one where people are like making, I don't know, clothing and stuff. Anyway, that's not where we were going. We were going over there. What the hell is that? And it's a guy walking about. <laughs> Alright, so let's go for this mission here. We will switch. Right, pal, you want some uh, carcasses there? Unbreaking the bank. Oh, yeah, Evie's got to fix uh, Jacob's problems. Jacob's mistakes now. She's got to go and fix his problems with the bank. Oh, Jacob just wants a wee loan, huh? He was just hoping for a loan. Oh, the bank's locked. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please. If you would just calm yourself. To be fair, it wasn't what he wanted. He wanted the guy to be arrested. What has happened? Your brother. What's he done this time? <laughs> Your brother. murder, and if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. No, oh, someone stole the Was printing plates. Doing? No, it wasn't. I doubt it. Now, no one trusts the bank. Oh, that's worse. That's currency. far worse. There will be inflation, <laughs> riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labour. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. About time. I mean, uh... What if wait, um... I smuggle the plates back into the bank? Well, huh? certainly help. I've got to smuggle stuff yes, back into the, the bank. Call question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. Hmm. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. 
Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Destroying counterfeit notes as well. No bother, oh, I. Why not? It really is very good of you to help. Well, I kind of have to help because Jacob's kind of fucked things up a wee bit, to be quite honest. So you know, if uh, if we need to if we need help from people, the best option for us is going to be to help others. Uh, I am just going to quickly get these skills. Uh, what do I get? Uh, seven, six, five. We should be able to get one of the other one of the other skills as well. One of the ones that costs four points. I think we'll have five points left after we get this one. Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's grab. Grab one of the ones off this line. Do you know what? Let's get the one that gives us better, better knives. More knives and stronger knives. That's what we want. Uh, we've got some new weapons. He's got like a, a jade kukri. Would jade be a useful material for like a, a knife? I don't... I suppose it would be alright. But we'll stick with what we got. Uh, we could unlock some new gauntlets. But I can't craft them just now. Uh, capes. Is there one that you can wear that makes you fly? That would be good. We don't have a Superman cape. What are the outfits like? That looks alright. Anyway, I think we're kind of done. Let's see if we can craft any of these upgrades. Still can't craft any upgrades. Okay. Alright, follow Aberline. They're spending counterfeit money nearby. Oh yeah, is it counterfeit if it's using the proper the proper things? Yeah, it's counterfeit because it's not being made at the mint, right? Mr. Aberline, can you keep walking, please? I have the utmost faith in you, Miss Fry. I don't bother. Locate the counterfeiter. Okay. There he is. Look, there's the counterfeiter. Let's tail him. From above. If we can. Oh, I can see him. He's there. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to the cart. The counterfeiters. Doesn't want to be robbed on his way to the cart, he says. They can ride all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Mm. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. Yeah, I mean, I suppose they're not not—they're not entirely incorrect, are they? It is, it is made using the official source, so... I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get in a car, I think, here to follow them. And repents not at all. Don't get too close. So we don't want to get too close. We don't want to get spotted by those guys that are on the pavement though either. Just follow them in a nice uh, in a little cart here. Don't get too close. There's the warning, so I'm probably... That warning usually comes up when you're getting too close. Let them get ahead a wee bit. As long as we can see them, it's fine. Where the hell are you going? <gasps> it's great. The, the horse can walk backwards and make the whole carriage reverse. I, I'm not entirely sure you could, there is a reverse gear for carriages, I'll be honest. This guy doesn't even know how to drive on the road. Here now. He just knocked down like every bollard and light. <laughs> A bad driver. Whoa. Right, where's he going? Do I need to keep following him here or is he just gonna burn the counterfeit money? Okay. Guard this place like you would the Bank of England itself, he says. 
Oh my goodness, look how many people there are there. Oh shit, that's bad. Oh, get up there. Alright. Whoa! I don't, I don't know why, I just, I just fell out the window there. Alright, we're good. Right, we're good. Now, where are the stairs? Get rid of him. Yeah, there's another guy on this floor. Come on, move. Where are the plates? There they are. Steal back the. Uh, oh, wait, let's steal the uh, sneak these back into plates. The bank. Get the plates back in. If we see any counterfeit money, it said to burn it. I didn't see any counterfeit money. I don't know if it's lying. I think it's downstairs. Could the counterfeit money be down here? That problem solved. Is this the is the money out there? Uh, we threw that person down, and now they're scared. To be fair, I've got the stuff that I need. You get all sorts these days. I've got all the stuff that I needed there, so I could just leave that. She can't possibly think she's hidden from sight. I am. I'm hidden. What are you talking about, mate? I'm not looking at you, so you're not looking at me. Kill the guy driving the carriage. Can we burn the counterfeit money still? Where is the counterfeit money? I wonder. Let me just do this. Hoped I could hit him from there, but no. We can hit one of these guys though. Oh, I don't think that actually does anything. I think they're they're leveled up too high. So I've got to upgrade this tool in order to do that. Um, where's the money? Is what I want to know. Where's the counterfeit money? I wonder. This building's a bit higher than I thought it was. The good news is we took out most of them before, so the fight should be easy. Say she's weak, we've got to overpower her. Because uh, that doesn't seem to be the case, to be quite honest. Where's the, where's the counterfeit money then? I haven't seen any. Is it must be inside the building then? I just didn't see it. Get down. Um, go in the window. Yeah, alright, pal. Shock and all, that's the way. Oh, wait, is that the counterfeit money? It is. Is there something I can burn it with? That's the counterfeit money there. I don't. Oh, there's uh, there's this. We can burn it with that, look. I hope that's all of it. Pop that down there. Ignite that. And get the hell out of here. And now we can go back to the bank. It looks like that might not be all the counterfeit money. Do you know what? I kind of feel like I don't really want to do this, this side objective, but... Now that I've kind of done it partially, maybe I should find out if there's more upstairs. There wasn't any there. Or there. Oh wait, is it the stuff in his cart? In his cart, maybe? There's going to be some in his carriage, isn't there? Oh wait, there's more here, look. At least I assume that's more here. Is there more dynamite here? No, there's not. Oh yeah, there is more money here, look. Oh, can I just burn it? But all of these have got money in them as well, haven't they? Nope, there it is. Counterfeit money is burnt. Okay, let's get back to the bank and let the civilians in. Excuse me. We managed to do alright following that guy. We don't even need to ride a... Oh, look, traffic jam. 
<laughs> Bit of gridlock in London, the old rush hour. Alright, here we go. How am I supposed to get past him? How am I supposed to get past this guy? I've read the papers. This will be the ruin of us. this In you come. In you come, everyone. <laughs> They're saying outrageous. Like that I killed the guy. The thing is, I suppose the advantage the advantage of that is I'd rather not have killed all these guards to be fair. All I was trying to do was return these plates. So I gotta fight everybody to return the plates. I'm not sure what she's doing is any better than what Jacob did, to be quite honest. <laughs> <laughs> Kill everyone to return stuff into the, uh, into the bank. There. As if they were never taken. There you go, the plates are back. The people are in. All right, everybody, have a good one. Excuse me. They've got access to their money again. They're happy. You hear that? He said. Oh. I'm an intruder. All the, what about all those other people, mate? Oh, there we go. Problem solved. We're, we've escaped the Bank of England. I'm not sure how Aberline's going to feel about the fact that I did, uh, I did kill like all of the guards in the bank. But there we go. I didn't really have much of a choice there. I probably could have. I probably could have gone up in like the rafters and sneaked by. I suppose. But we did it, that's what matters. Well, the London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more Already? <laughs> in the oh. bank restored. I just walked out the door. I might get a quiet night on patrol. And the newspapers are already printed. Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me. Yeah, well, we'll speak to him as well. There we go, we did it. We burnt the counterfeit money, we let the civilians in. And we got a gun, apparently. The M1877 Lightning. Let's have a look at it. Where is it? There it is. It's not any better than what I've got, though. I think we'll stick with that. And there's a sand bin, look. It's funny, isn't it? So that's like a bin, obviously, for, like, sand, I guess, for gritting stuff. Ordinary Bank in England. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I guess that's for like sand, for like when the road's all icy or whatever. Never seen that before. Nowadays they're just a big yellow plastic box. Uh, where's Evie's other mission that I saw? It's out there. Uh, so now this is change of plans. This is the one I think where we're obviously looking for the looking for the uh, the vault or whatever that we're trying to make our way to. Hopefully not. <laughs> do 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 do. All right, here we go. How are you doing tonight, Oreo Nights? It's good to see you, by the way. Hope you're doing well. Run, 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 run. Luke 75,000 BC, Adam and Eve were some of the first assassins. They were some of the first people, I think they're saying, but... That's Jacob's mission. There's the mission we want. See this jump, right? Watch this. It honestly looks like she her head goes through the wall. It honestly look like looks like her head makes full contact with that wall just below the clock there. Like, it looks like her head goes through the wall. <laughs> Realistic, absolutely, yeah. It's absolutely smashed through it. 
Some pale ale and stout there. What's this restaurant called? It's just called Restaurant of Garnham Stanmer's Restaurant. It's got chops and steaks. Do I not? He doesn't want doesn't want to be bothered today, apparently. Well, the good news is he's not going to be bothered again. What are you going to teach me what? Teach me... Teach me that? Is that what you want to teach me? How to... How to kill him? I didn't need that learning experience, but there you go. Tell me again where we are going. I found a letter from the Prince Consort among Lucy Thorne's research, marked hmm. with the same insignia as your key, dated 1847. 1847. We're doing all right. Good to hear it. The same year the Prince began renovations to Buckingham Palace. You think he added a vault for the shroud? And since there is no map of the palace, yeah, I'm good. Marked no complaints. Vault. No complaints Your here. Highness, may I present Miss Evie Fry, Miss Fry, Maharaja Dulip Singh. A pleasure, Your Highness. There's somebody else in the My background friend, just went, Hello! The plans you asked for have been removed. <laughs> removed? By whom? Crawford Starrick. Or someone employed by him. Yes, I thought you might recognize the name. I know where they are. But it is heavily guarded. Who knows where they are? Bearing in mind, we just broke into the Tower of London a little while ago. Oh. Bear in mind, we broke into the Tower of London a little while ago. What, what, what place could be any more secure? Buckingham Palace. <laughs> well, actually, it might be. I know it's in there. Just got your new schedule, and your weekends are now on Sunday and Monday. We're going to. All right. Plan. You got a couple of days together off. Instruction for the guards while you find a safe way inside. Oh, really? <laughs> for you, Evie, certainly. Well. It's gonna help me. Once I'm inside, I'll find someone who knows where the papers are stored. And we will be back on the train. Is that a good change? You happy that you've got two days together? <coughs> be careful. Uh, nothing worse, you know, when you're working and it's like your two days off are like separated. Right, wait a minute, what have we got here? So he's here, I'm here. What are we looking for? That chest? Good news is the other guy didn't notice me doing that. We're going to have to duck out of this at some point, though, to take these guys down. Use Henry's distraction twice. How'd I do that? Could I use that? Where is he? I'm not even sure where he is at that moment. Is that him up there? I don't know how I use the distraction or whatever that he has. That he does. That's how we get this. You're not getting out. Oh. Looks like we're okay otherwise. Let's get rid of this alarm. And then let's get over in time to, in time to take this guy before he comes through that gate. Oh. She's not that ought to do. That's not them. That's not them. All right, but we found something useful. Okay. I think we can get this person without needing them to be distracted. So where else could it be? Two guys there. Quite a few people. There's one chest over that way. Something else near. There's the other one. Look. Okay, so we've got two chests, potentially. I think it's not just those days together, but what's even more important is that you won't need to take days off during the week anymore. Now you have to deal with everything being closed at the weekend. That's true, yeah, with you having the Monday. You're able to you're able to do things on Mondays. That's that's good. That's a good point. Alright, so there's a chest here. There only appear to be two guys guarding this chest, so... In fact, is that, is that chest, somebody at my door, hang on a second, I'll be back, I'll be back in a minute.
All right, uh, I'm back, so we'll get back into the game and get a bit more going on here. Uh, so we need to take down... I don't know if I need to take down the guards. Okay, so there's people... Not just hat flying, did you see that? Okay, that's good. We're coming up those stairs. We have a problem. Damn it, that that wasn't what I wanted to do. I, I was gonna go through the window, he was right under the window. My intention with him right under the window was just to jump out the window and drop on his head. Which shouldn't have attracted that guy's attention at all. But somehow it still did. There was a chest inside there. I said, I said enter, stranger. Is it this one? Is it this chest? It's probably not. It's going to be the third. It's going to be the last one, isn't it? No. No. <laughs> I'm saying it is. It's going to be the last one we look at. I jump off that onto there. I wanted to jump off that onto there, but apparently not. Um, to be honest, it looks like we might not even need to worry that much. Oh, surely there's people in that building one person. I was going to say, it can't be that easy. We can't just walk in there and immediately we're done, can we? It looks like there is only one person in that building though, to be fair. So I guess if we can get down to the window and just get in that way, that'll make things a bit easier. Is this it? Looks like I have to ask someone where the plans are. I've got to kidnap a Templar. There's a guy upstairs that we can take if we can kidnap him. The girl! She's an intruder! You dare to do such a thing? I just wanted to... I wanted to kidnap him, but I'm guessing I can't do it because he, has, because he was facing me. Guys, I'd rather not have to fight all of you if that's okay. Okay, we're alive, we're good. We just need to capture one of these guys so that we can uh, work out what's going on. One there. I need to be able to. I need to be able to grab him. I think he's always going to be facing towards me there. But maybe if we go this way, I can climb up the outside of the building and get him from above somewhere if we're, if we're lucky. The trouble is, we're not wanting to kill him, obviously. We need to drop down in a position where we can get behind him and then capture him. Ideally. Best option here would be if I could drop down... And take him down without him seeing me here. Sick. Sorry, I just had to adjust something. Alright. There we go. Now, can I get him here, is the question, without, without needing to fight him. There we go, Luke. Easy. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. Henry, the plans you stole, where are they? I don't know anything about that. I didn't realize there was another one right there. Plans. The mission. Don't need him anymore. There's another one, Luke. Get rid of him and keep going. We're cleaning up at the moment. 
is this where he was? Clearly he fought back. And then there's also that. Clearly visible footprints. The guard who left them was much heavier than the others or was carrying someone or something. Someone shouting me as well from somewhere. Oh, outside the gate, look. They've got him, miss. They've got him where? You're some of Clara's children. They took Mr. Henry. We couldn't stop them. Oh, where did they take him? Them good, though. They dragged him off in a red carriage. A they red carriage. Father. One wheel looked like it was about ready to fall off. You can see the cart tracks. It looks so wobbly like. A wobbly cart. Investigate Henry's disappearance. There's a wobbly cart, apparently. There's the wobbly cart tracks, look. They've gone right off the road, across the road like that there. We don't need, uh... We don't need a lot of help to find these tracks, do we? If the cart was wobbly, I would imagine it probably didn't get very far. That would be my guess. Wait, what's happened here? Up here somewhere? I'm wondering if they've turned round with the other tracks that we're seeing crossing over here. Hold up. The cart's been run off the road. They must be driving quickly. Ah, okay, so that's a cart that they ran into. That would explain things. Well, those, are, those are bad guys, but they're not going to they're not going to respond quickly enough to notice me there, so it's alright. Where are they going? They went this way. Just weaving from side to side. Apparently because the cart they're knocking people had a problem. Over too. Knocked people down, look. Knocked the guy down. Wonder how long ago they knocked that guy down is the question. And destruction of public property. I must be on the right track. Must be on the right track. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I hope so because we've been following these uh, tracks for some time. So I hope we're on the right track. There's some enemies like there somewhere. Just on the corner. We're okay with that. We can just keep moving. They won't. Uh, they won't attack. They won't chase me. We can just avoid them. We can just ignore them. That must be the carriage. Aha. Uh -huh. Kill guards Henry. using hanging barrels. <gasps> Two guards with hanging barrels. Let's get up on the roof to have a look at what's going on. Find Henry. Who's that? Is that him? Which one is he? And to talk to them to work it out. Oh, hello. Templar here, look. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, there are a couple of people that are suggesting I have to approach. Potentially to find the guy. There's no guards standing under, ha under hanging barrels either. There's some hanging barrels... I don't actually see any hanging barrels. Are they standing under hanging barrels? No, I wish. Well, there's a guy over here to talk to as well. Quite a lot of people to talk to. Is it just one person there? Uh -huh. Here's a good start. Because there's no other guards there, it would appear. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Where did you come from, mate? I honestly didn't see him. As I was saying, anyway. I'd lock this gate. This is supposed to be locked. Bloody urchins opened it again, no doubt. I don't think that helps me. Okay, we talked we talked to one person. There's an entry point here. Okay, that could be a problem. You gonna come and see what I'm doing? 
Is he going to come over the fence is the question there, I suppose. He does. We get him. We get him quite easily then. And then we've got another person right there who I think I should be able to get to quite easily too. There's no one behind me. As always, I get spotted by somebody else. Who shouldn't even be able to see me. Actually, they should have been able to see me, to be fair. Stop her! She's insane. I didn't dodge her shot either. Okay. Um, so why have I got an entry point there? Do I need to be going underground, or what's up? Is they facing... I, I was going to say, are they facing away, but I don't think they were, were they? Both facing the same way. Although we might still be able to take two. Yeah, we dealt with them before before we had a problem. So I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, speak to all of these people. Or... Okay. That gets rid of one of them. Couple of headshots. Let's uh, speak to her and see what she's got to say. Yes, they pulled someone out of that carriage. Pulled someone out of the carriage. Carried him into the church. They carried him into the churchyard. Maybe he wanted a quiet place to sleep it off. Do you think that's true? Hi. Do you think that's what that's what they were doing? Let's loot these bodies. See if we can get some knives back. Come quick! Someone's been killed. A couple of knives back. There's a couple of guys here, so we can probably take them down with the remaining knives we have. Oh, I don't think so. Anyway. All right. That should allow us to speak to the person over here. In fact, there's two people. Oh no. Right, we're okay. Speak to her quickly. Become anonymous to continue. Oh, fuck. The good news is, I think those were the last two. Right, let's have a chat with this person. May as well get all the all the intel. Lots of people armed to the teeth. She doesn't like it one bit. And what about this guy? Yeah, I saw them dragging someone out of the carriage after the wheel fell off. They said he'd hit his head. Not sure why they needed to take him to the church, but that's where they went. Right, I think we follow that um, that hole in the that uh, bit at the back that was an entry point. Just drop down the hole in the ground. Uh, it was worth getting all the intel just to see what people were saying. Mm, go down the hole. Okay. This is a restricted area. So what else is new? Is this where we kill the guards using hanging barrels by any chance? Oh, there's a guy there. The good news is, because we're at the top of the stairs, we can jump down on him, do like an assassination. It makes it a lot, a lot quicker to deal with him. Whoop. I'm not an intruder, I'm supposed to be here. I'm the, um, sewer inspector. There we go. Just dealing with the sewage problem. Not close enough yet to hit that, I don't think. Well, I hope you haven't addled his brain. 
Still a guy laughing, like an evil laugh coming from somewhere. Gee. What happened to your pal there? I think we need, we could have attracted them potentially with like like whistled or something and attracted them to get that. Do you know what I might do though? Let's see if this works. I think they're all leveled up enough that now this weapon doesn't that weapon's just useless until I get it leveled up. All right, guys. Break his guard. See, there's more guys ahead. Not particularly difficult to deal with them, though, is it? Some medicine. Another knife would be nice. No knives. Henry. Yep, free Henry. Send someone to move the architectural plans. Do you have them? Not yet. Did they hurt you? We didn't get the plans. Did, did I get the plans? No, that's right. I looked in all the uh, I looked in all the chests, and none of them had the plans in them. I remember now. I'm just gonna open this chest as well. No, I've got to escape. Can I not escape the area? It said I thought it was gonna. It wasn't gonna let me open the chest. There we go. We got we got some silk and leather as well. Come on, mate. Look, they're no, they're no bother for us. The plans. The plans are lost. Just concentrate on escaping, please. <laughs> just escape, mate. Come on, just let's get out of here. His smoke bombs are quite handy, to be fair. Throwing them at exactly the right time. Where are we going, mate? Are we really running through, straight through all this? I. See ya. Duck. Oh, we're not. Looks like we're going to have to fight them. One down. You need to be careful here because the camera is a bit of a pain in the arse for fighting things sometimes in this game. I'll deal with him. Break his uh, guard, get him down. There we go. Only two more. Ooh. Who's left? Is that it? Are we done? Right, are we going? Come on, Henry. Let's let's leave. Where's he going? Looks like he's decided to go that way himself. There we go. Problem solved. Where's he going? I think he's so close to death. Oh, look. Another thing trying to, trying to sell us uh, you know, cheap viewers. You, you can't see it because I've blocked any any links, but cheap viewers on this thing. You know, the cheap, the, the best ones are the ones that don't cost you anything, mate. Don't keep coming in here. That really annoys me that these things keep coming, to be honest. These people sending links that nobody wants. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. So he got killed because he decides to run in and fight every fucking person in the whole place. Just every person in the whole place he's got to he's got to attack them. It's handy. And the fact that we got attacked by like a million people there really didn't help. Right, so we start, we do this again then. He's running. Can we try doing this a little more carefully, mate? Just a thought, what you know? About the plans? The plans are lost. There we go. Yeah, the plans are lost. Get moving. Keep running. This mission might be one of the ones that's going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it? Nope. There's the uh, there's the thing with dropping the things on people's heads. What I need is to make sure that he doesn't lose too much health. Oh, 
the biggest problem I think was that he just lost far too much health. I think he lost too much again, to be honest. Where? Gunman on the rooftop? Where? Is that is that how we got killed? I can't even see this person that's supposedly on the rooftop. Where? Which rooftop? They're like there. Oh, there. Okay. Right, dealt with. Now where's he gone? The trouble is we're going to get more people attacking as soon as he goes there. Good news is I think we dealt with that a lot better this time. A lot faster. Is that enough? Are we out here yet? Where's he going to? He's running into every little uh, wall and thing that he shouldn't. We got him out though. We saved him. Get Miss Nightingale to look at that. I must find the vault before Starek secures the shroud. We saved him. We'll talk to the Maharaja again. I oh. will talk to the Maharaja. You will get your head looked at. I'm sorry my capture hasn't done your plans. It has a little bit, yeah. Be safer on the train. Even if you find the vault, you can't just walk into Buckingham Palace alone. I won't be alone. I'll see you back at the train, Mr. Green. So it is at Buckingham Palace then. I didn't use Henry's distraction. Maybe I should have. We got a schematic for purple vengeance. So that's good. Whatever, whatever that is. So we find out what that is. In purple vengeance. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Give us a better knife pouch. I wonder what purple vengeance is. Can we find out? Is that a weapon? It's got to be a weapon or something, right? It's a nightshade cloak. That's not purple vengeance. What? What's that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it doesn't. I, I can't see it as a thing. It's just written down somewhere, you know. Uh, how many skill points do I have, by the way? We need four for any of these skills, so we just have to wait, I guess. We'll just have to wait. Purple Vengeance. Very good. Don't know what it is, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Alright, so we've done all of EV stuff there now for the moment. It's probably a trait. There's probably a mission where we have to get on the train, but let's do Jacob's thing and see what he's up to. Jump over to the train station and see what Jacob's doing with his spare time. Do 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 do. What's he been doing while we've been, I don't know, putting right his mistakes? Solving his uh, financial misdemeanor. <laughs> right, where is it? Where is the mission? There. Slide down. Woo. He's running vertically, like basically vertically on glass there. Well, technically horizontally, I suppose. I should say. Walking vertically is not that uh, not that big of a surprise. Uh, Jacob Hunts for Prime Minister Disraeli at the Sinopian Club to trace the mysterious B who's planning his assassination. That's what we're looking for. Stop the assassination if we can. If we can. All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? Who's B? What up, B? We gotta find them, work out who they are, take them out. That's it. That's the that's the plan. See, um, he might have some skill points to use. Nine of them, so we can use we can do two of these. So what? Let's do two of these higher level ones. In fact. 
Oh, that needs six. Okay, so we can't do that one, but we could do some, we could do two of the ones that cost four. So we'll do that. Driver two. Reach the Sinopian Club. Tell you what, it does look like this is close to one of the little side uh, mission Templar hunt things as well. I wonder is it worth seeing if we can take the person down for that as well while we're here. Maybe we will. Seeing as we're here, we can always do it, I suppose. The only trouble is when you do that, you have to escape from the area. But maybe we can do that quickly, get it out of the way. Because it is, it does create a restricted area that we're standing there. I mean, we are in a restricted area anyway, but... Maybe if we can take another restricted area away from... Actually, I don't know if that removes it as a restricted area. I think it just... There's a person. There he is. That's uh, Wallace Bone. Looks like he walks underneath the... Uh, kill him from a hiding spot. Is the roof a good enough hiding spot? I mean, if they can't see me, that's a hiding spot, right? Let's put the angle there, because I could see that he did walk under this. The question's just... Has he walked properly under it, or does he kind of... I mean, we could just get him from here with the knife, to be fair, as well, just in the back of the head. But, let's have a look at this. Hand spells like a hay bale. Ah, I know, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm kind of hoping that maybe it's, uh, it would be alright, you know. I mean, there is a hay bale there. It doesn't seem like he ever goes near it, though. I'm not too concerned about the kind of uh, secondary, you know, the optional objectives, but I'm trying to see where he goes where I could actually do that. I don't think he goes close enough now to whistle. Well, yeah, but there's uh, there's one hay bale there and there's three guards between me and him. <laughs> so I'll be attracting them before I attract him, probably. Yeah, he never goes close enough to that. And there's no other hiding spot. Maybe behind the wall? Does behind the wall count? Like if we grab him from the other side of the wall? No, because that wall has a big fence. Yeah, the trouble is, the only hiding spot's over there, and there's a load of guys already at it. Unless, hang on a second. Are oh, they level 9? This isn't going to work. Yeah, those darts don't work on them because I haven't upgraded them enough. I haven't. I don't even know if I've got the upgrade for the darts, to be honest. Uh, medium dart pouch. Oh, there's the upgrade. Oh, I need 200 metal. I'm nowhere near it. See, I'm not too concerned about those uh, secondary objectives. I just want to get rid of them. Whoops. I was too late. <laughs> the good news is we didn't actually get spotted doing it, so... Just do that. Horn and grab it. Wait, where'd he come from? Where could he have gone? Where could he have gone? <laughs> that was beautiful. They just dropped down above my head. Where could they have gone? I'm here. <laughs> Alright, let's do the actual mission now. That was, a, that was some well-timed uh, evasion there. Well, that clears another area of London for us. I wasn't going to do those missions, but because we were there, I thought I may as well do it. Our own little corner of Westminster. Alright. So the objective is to reach the Sinopian Club. I'm not sure I'm allowed to be there though. How am I going to get in? Is there a way in that doesn't require me to just go straight down into the courtyard and get arrested? <laughs> is there a window maybe? Doesn't look like there's an open window I can climb through. Maybe I just need to get there. Do not kill any guards in the Sinopian Club. Well, what's going on? Because I didn't. I've been desynchronized because my target was alerted. It told me to reach there. It told me to get to the ground there. As soon as I did, I got caught by everyone. What am I supposed to do? 
I wondered if it would count as a as a hiding spot if we dropped the the barrels on him, but I don't think uh, don't think that we'd have. I got to watch this person well, wandering about. Dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister. There's the Prime Minister, your Luke. Friends is about to stab you in the back. The corrupt practices bill is a vital step in reforming our government. Someone's going to attack him. That's what we were supposed to do. We we're just supposed to hide. We can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Shit, that policeman comes right round. I'll stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we should repeal Magna Carta. Mission failed. Wait, maybe that was the guy. Maybe that maybe that was the person that was trying to kill him. No, nope, it looks like I failed the mission. Did I have to be did I have to be like right there behind the wall to do that? Maybe if I uh stand amongst the people rather than Well, if it isn't my dear old chum Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends... Maybe if I just, uh, blend in. The corrupt practices bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested... Just keep our eyes on where people are and where they're going. They're talking about a small goat path. I we're looking for someone who's going to attack him. Where's the policeman that came round before? And a dragon parliamentary parliamentary privilege through the map, being able to do all sorts of shit and have nobody find out, basically. Yeah. They're not happy. Look at that, they're staring at me. They're like, who the fuck are you? Get the fuck out of here, mate. I don't want to talk to you, you prick. Oh, there we go. the requirement. Good evening, sir. Oh. Good evening, sir. So who's the person that we're looking for? There's Disraeli. Oh, there's the person following him. Parliamentary privilege is just immunity from libel and defamation law. Yeah, it's just that some. I think that it was. Yeah, yeah the idea that you can you can kind of get away with saying a lot more. Obviously, these things without people. Then it is funny though, you know, because obviously you, then you see the stuff like, like if people in parliament are um, like being rude to somebody, you know, that or saying someone's a liar. <laughs> and it's like you can't call people a liar in Parliament. It's like, but 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 they're lying. <laughs> and why you? But I guess during that whole period, they can't they can't uh, take it's you to court over whatever you do say about them. Hmm. Headshot. Smug bastard. Yeah, I think it's that idea that obviously if somebody does say something that like that, that could either otherwise be considered libelous. Because they said it in Parliament, they can get away with it, which... I don't know... I don't know how... Whether that is a positive thing or not. Oh, there they go. Can I catch this person? No, not up there! What's the point going up there? Back off, you gobshite, she said. Gap. We found her. But yeah, there is sometimes I do sometimes wonder if that kind of gets misused a little bit, you know. I understand sometimes that you do have to be able to to mention certain things without uh, being at risk, but now we've got to fight this person. 
What? I said to fight them. <laughs> what? Wait, what's going on? What? 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 They told me to fight the person, so I was fighting them. And then, and then when it told me to fight them, maybe do you know what? Maybe because it had just changed to that as the objective, maybe I was, uh, maybe it was still stuck on the previous objective. But to be fair, it didn't say kill though, did it? It just said fight. It just said fight, not kill. I'm not sure we can catch this person running though. Well, maybe. Um, I mean, I feel like we should be able to catch this person here. Right, enough. Okay, I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened, honestly. Bloody hell! Where did you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working <laughs> for? Oh, I never got his name. The Batman thing, there is it? Big moustache or some kind of uniform? Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is, you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lads are going to attack mm -hmm. the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Perfect. Just throw them off anyway. <laughs> Just throw them off anyway. But yeah, no, I, it's... Um, I, think there were, I think sometimes there were some people who have uh, used it in ways that maybe it wasn't supposed to be, you know... Is by just Batman away. We let that person live. I'm not sure we should have let that person live, but I don't suppose they're going to be hired as a sniper again anytime soon. Level nine area skill upgrade suggested. Is it going to be that bad? I've only got two points. I can't even. I can't even update my point. I can't even do any updates. I think we'll be all right. Oh, this is one of those blighter strongholds. Nah. Wait, where's where's the mission? It's there. Why? I was heading that way, and it seemed like there was a mission that way. Apparently not. All right. Deal with these blighters. So I don't know obviously, I know that um, I think there are like, I can't remember if like, it's section, we're on like part 7 or whatever, I can't remember if it's 8, if it's 9 or 10 that are that are in the, um, the game. We're working our way through quite well I think, in terms of the story. I don't know, there's still a, a good bit of time left of the game obviously, but we're just sticking to story, we're, we're, we're getting through it. <laughs> that guy is reading his paper and I just dropped down on his head, basically. It's not so good. <laughs> We're at Westminster. What's he saying? There's really roasting Gladstone in Parliament. That's the last mistake you'll ever make. What, running past in the street? Apparently that's a mistake. Run past in the street's a mistake. A big mistake. I'm sure we'll deal with that later.
Uh, Jacob plans to warn the Prime Minister of the threat to his life and question him as, the identity, as to the identity of the man in uniform named B. What's his name then, do we think? Billy. Bob. Bartholomew. Sorry, I beat the suspect, Your Honor. It looked like he was running with scissors. Hmm. <laughs> so much for the house call. We'll have to find a way into that carriage. We have to find a way into the carriage. I find the doors usually, uh, usually the best option, to be honest. There we go, we'll just infiltrate the carriage. How about that? How about I just walk in, just climb in the carriage next to the Prime Minister? Who the devil are you? <laughs> Sorry, Prime Minister. Quick question. New bodyguard. Jacob Fry. <laughs> new new bodyguard. Of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Who's informed of any new bodyguard? <laughs> Madam, apologies. But we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> One that uh, would suggest that you might get killed. You excuse me a moment. <laughs> I got to take down another sniper or something. Who's attacking you, mate? You can come off the roof. Oops. Oops, that didn't work out. That didn't work out for me, sadly. There's more of them. I didn't realise there were more snipers there. I like that all the police that are standing around just watch me get in that car get out of that carriage and they're just like, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, there's more of them. Problem solved. Keep the carriages damaged below 50%. What's all this? Not so fast, Your Excellency. Oh, not this guy. Not this guy. Oh no, he's... they've stolen Disraeli. He had his eyes shut. He was fighting that guy with his eyes shut. Hijack the carriage and less one minute. Get back here with that Prime Minister. <laughs> Get back here with that Prime Minister. Oh no, get drive. Thought I was close enough to get on top. Get on top. Oh shit. Come on, move! You'll teach me a fucking lesson, apparently. I'll teach you one, mate. I don't think we're getting this done in less than a minute. Get out my way! Get out my way! Jump! Take him out! And ride. Right, the good news is we've hijacked the carriage. It was not in less than a minute, but everyone's alive. Now we just need to escape with a bit of drifting. A bit of pony drifting. Gladstone. Do you think Gladstone wanted him assassinated? That seems a bit much. Seemed a bit much. We got away. We saved us really. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't get on the carriage quickly enough, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, does really? What's his first initial again? Maybe he's uh, maybe he's um, put a hit out on himself. Maybe Disraeli's put a hit out on himself. What do you intend to do about Gladstone, young man? I don't think it's him. I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. Hmm. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, I was thinking, so B is his first Perhaps name. You can help me with is he, uh, problem. is he, um... A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms... Has he put a hit on himself? Moustache. You 
seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. Well, how did she work that out? Do you think she worked? Did she work that out from me beating up all those people, or from stealing the carriage? Of our city. Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. The Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. Do you not think you'd be? Do you not think you'd be happier if her husband's life was safer? Tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Just thinking, you know. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry. Yeah, yeah, good day. So we didn't keep the carriages damaged below fifty percent, but we did okay. So is he? Is he? Has he put a hit on himself? I'm. Ass I'm assuming probably not. But uh... oh. also, is this? Wait. Oh. Does it say what? Uh, the map doesn't tell you where you are. But the fact that we've just dropped Israeli off here would. Uh, this, is this Downing Street, is it? Or was that uh, a little later than this? There she is. Driving Mrs. Driving Mrs. Disraeli. <laughs> du, 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 du. Madam? Mr. Fry. Shall we go for a walk then in the, to take the, the Devil's Acre? The Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. <laughs> I'm afraid I, don't know what that is. I must cancel our engagement. Why is that? There was a trick. The lawn is crawling with scandal hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. What are we doing to the press? Be gentle, won't you? <clears throat> the press are notoriously touchy about a wee dog in her bag, Luke. Is that a corgi? She's got a corgi in her bag. Ha 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 ha. I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Yeah, it's probably a, it's probably a wee, uh, it's probably a biter. Well now, who has been... Distract the reporters with the nearby paper girl. What do we mean? How are we going to do that? Where's the nearby paper girl? Is that... <laughs> Is that this person here? Is that this person? Yeah, famous... Famous origami. <laughs> That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. What, what did you want to give her? Five hundred pound. Squire Bancroft. Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Mr. Bancroft, Mr. Bancroft, what's coming up next for the Prince of Wales? What's coming up next for the Prince of Wales? Who will you be playing? Any comment on the notices for the play? Oh, the, the, I'm the distraction, am I? Escape the journalists. So now I have to get away from them. Leave me alone! You parasites! I think we got back and then we can oh oh shit no mate i'm sorry it was an accident i didn't mean it i didn't mean it pal it's all right don't worry now we can go back and uh reach mrs disraeli's carriage i think we got away just run right into one of the guards clever that Hopefully she had enough time to get into her carriage. Done, young man. Dizzy ought to keep you on to deal with the liberals. What? Now, a drive is in order. She went back and forward. I certainly don't intend to walk. Escort Mrs. Disraeli to the Devil's Acre. So what is that? Where is that specifically, I wonder? In the cart, 
Oh, back. Escape the journalists. I understand. Run away! We've got to escape from the journalists now. Okay, it looks like we've managed. I'm guessing we're going to keep getting journalists the whole way, though. It's like a Grand Theft Auto mission. Or a Saints Row mission or something where we uh, have to escape from the... Slum to the west of Westminster Abbey. <laughs> that was that famous slum to the west of Westminster Abbey, is it? Ah, right. It was cleared around the time of the game. Ah, I see. So this would have been probably the tail end of maybe what was cleared up. And what was left afterwards. I guess probably not a lot of people... Um, that's the way. A lot of people with nowhere to go who ended up just living in uh, squalor prior to that, I guess. Oh yeah, here we go, Luke. This is it. This is the Devil's Acre. Do not get detected by thugs in the slum. There's thugs in the slum. There's thugs in the slum. There's thugs in the slum. Give me your arm, Mr. Fry. I really need to know. Now we've bit has uh, people fighting. Uh oh, this is just really dog. The, the dog growls. Is your dog quite all right? Oh, it's because he was. There was a wee boy there. I didn't realize. Or anybody really. So we have to avoid detection by thugs. Shut up, you stupid you annoying dog. Shut up, you annoying dog. It's like the worst dog. <laughs> Normally dogs are fine, but that dog is hor that this dog's annoying. You know this gentleman is a oh, what was it? Yes. A coster monger, yeah. Do they not become the um, what's known as the pearly kings and queens? Shall we go? Like the charitable sort of organisation, or like coster mongers or something, weren't they? I'm so sorry. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. Me neither. Mrs. Disraeli. Well, don't say her name out loud, surely. Can we go around this way to get there? Just because there's a bunch of guys there. Not usually this excitable. The dog's not usually this excitable, apparently. Yeah, we can go this way, just because there were some thugs there on the left that I think were going to cause me some problems right. getting by. Oh, yes. I've just learned to whistle. She's just right. learned to whistle, just this second. Just people. Just people living their lives. Playing hopscotch. We'll play some hopscotch with we kids. I do believe that man is drunk. You might be right, aye. Right, Look at those two. Yes, they Is this uh, they um, be, um Mrs. Disraeli's uh, getting involved in some uh, early poverty uh, tourism uh, apparently. What they're doing. God bless them. That's what she's up to. Meat is that man selling? Don't ask. Yes, not to ask. Yes, not to ask what sort of meat he's selling. Is it something dreadful? <gasps> Here is we are. Rat? Might be, aye. Yeah. One ton pub. Best beer the one ton pub. I don't mean to be rude in it. Wait, 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 wait. Here. It just happens. Why don't you have a seat? Do you think? Do you think that she's walked us here for a specific reason? This guy definitely meets the description of the person that uh, might be his. Uh, might be wanting to get him killed. Do you think that she had her reasons for bringing us here? That was because she knew that was there. So this is a pint, is it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Remarkable. <sighs> so what's a pint of? But uh... oh shit! Here we go. Don't steal the dog, mate. It'll bite your fingers off. Nice doggy. Mm. Oh, you idiot! <laughs> Yep, stay there, I'll get the dog. 
follow Desmond's barks. Can we not just leave him behind? Can we not just leave Desmond behind? Desmond as in Desmond from the other Assassin's Creed games. Now, the question here, of course, is when he's capturing the dog, you know, is he capturing the dog to sell? Or is he capturing the dog to uh, Good boy, Desmond. bring to the butchers or something? The You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've <laughs> Never noticed that when you played this. Yeah, <laughs> it's called Desmond. Pubs. I'm assuming that's that. It must be. A, it must be an in joke or some kind. Unless, unless Disraeli's wife actually had a corgi called Desmond, of course. How you felt about him. How oh, they're here. He look. To know? I never mm. thought for that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just mm. so. Mm. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. We're chasing Desmond. Have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. John the Tosser. <laughs> I we better get you. John the Tosser. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, nice. Desmond. <laughs> Turns out the name's historically accurate. Oh, is it? Oh, well, there you go. She had a dog called Desmond. But still, that's probably why they added that sequence. Well, that's probably why they wanted the dog in the in the scene. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now. That's probably why they had to have a scene with her taking us around. I'll do something we're going to regret, guys. So this is his, uh, this is his pals that he's brought that I needed to worry about, apparently. Maybe I do have to worry about his pals, but it looks like he's dead. Give him a good cleaving, they're saying. Ah, where were we? She's in the carriage, right? It says escape the area with Mrs. Disraeli, so I'm assuming she's in the carriage. There she is. Is she going to tell me... Thank you, Is she going to tell me who, uh... Pretty sure it was the person on that poster. Lord no? Lord Cardigan. I should be Cleveland. And twin, you idiots, and twin! He's in town now, as it is. He's in town now? So I've not quite got to grips with what the Corrupt Practices Bill is. Is it a bill that allows them to commit corrupt practices? Or is it a, something that uh, that's to stop corrupt practices? In which case, what kind of political career does a person have who's openly against a bill that stops corrupt practices? <laughs> Just openly in public, he's like, oh yeah, it's, uh, we like to be able to be corrupt. What do you mean? Your stop, madam. My stop. <laughs> How delightful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> Dizzy. Yes. Made voters free from intimidation from landlords. So it was a, a bill to stop corrupt practices. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it, it makes a lot more sense. It's funny, though, isn't it, that you have people... I mean, I suppose you still have it now, but... It's funny that that it seems like the suggestion with all of this is that these other people are kind of openly against it. We're uh, made bribes for votes illegal and set campaign expense limits. Yeah, so you kind of think, you know, it's funny, isn't it, that these people are openly saying that they're against that. Suggesting that... Uh, I just saw something. I just saw that apparently we unlocked something called the Iron Death Gauntlet. What's that? What's the Iron Death Gauntlet? And when can I when can I get one? Oh, it's that. 
It's cold and feeling grey, but it goes with everything, including death. It's funny, isn't it? You'd think that nowadays you'd have to be a little bit more... Uh, I suppose maybe they weren't quite as open about it as was being suggested there. They weren't quite as open about what they... Uh, what they wanted out of it. Otherwise you kind of think, you know... <laughs> You kind of think, surely it's kind of uh, political suicide to say that you're against it, you know. Certainly it would be now, anyway. Just imagine, can't you vote for me and I'll make sure corruption is uh, here all year round. Three Mars bars for votes. I suspect the working man had recent, only recently got the vote. That's very true as well, yeah, at that stage, because, yeah. Obviously, prior to that, it was very much wealthy people, wasn't it? That had the, that had the, uh, the final say. So what's happening now? What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. He's got a password in his pocket. He's not just pleased Look to see sharp, him. Men. Allow no one passed unless I authorize them. After so 1918, you did property to vote. Ah, right, okay. Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. This perfidious law? Yeah, that, that that's... Yeah. What's happened? Makes things difficult. Uh, we've got a minister as a unique kill, corrupt policeman for a stealth opportunity, and po politician for an assistance opportunity. We want the unique kill opportunity. That's what we want. Apparently to get that, we need to go to that person there on the left. <coughs> Nothing but the highest quality goods, he says. How can he be so sure? Do not get detected by the target. Right, so this is the guy we want, the minister. Uh, that lets us steal Lord Cardigan's password and presumably sneak into his office or something where it's easy to kill him. So we need a, we need a good angle to take him down from here. I don't think we just walk in the gate. Be fair, that gate. I was going to say that gate isn't guarded, but it absolutely was. Okay, so potentially we can maybe get into that hay bale. Possibly. Where's the hay bale again? There. It's awfully far away from him though, isn't it? But, it'd be more about capturing one of the, or killing one of the guys that's in the way. Okay. So there's two policemen nearby. There's that one and there's that one. He moves around, clearly. Because the other one's been standing there the whole time, but he wasn't there when we arrived. It looks like that might be the only one. Oh no, there's that one too, Luke. Okay. We need an angle where we can take one of them down. I mean, ideally, it'd be better not to kill the police, obviously, but... Wait, does he just go away now? Maybe not. Do you know what? I think we could take him down. Just take him down, I mean, steal steal the thing off him. Balaclava. Of course it Password is Balaclava. What? Cardigan Balaclava. So we found his password. I get up there before that policeman arrives. There we go. Okay, is that because of some military action? 
Okay, so where are we going here? We got Lord Cardigan's password. Don't kill any policemen, don't get detected. So we don't want to kill policemen if we can help it. I think if we get on that rooftop there, maybe we'll be we'll be alright. Okay, so we've got Lord Cardigan's password. Let's get on this roof. There might be guards up here too, mind you. Okay, that'll be alright. So what's that? That is a politician. Speak to him. And follow him to Cardigan's office, apparently. We can kill that guy, because he's not a policeman. So that's good. Anyone else there? Just that one? Looks like just that one. We need to get in that room, though. And there's also that person. Just a corrupt policeman. We could kidnap him. Guards will move out of his way if we kidnap him and basically walk him into the building. But I think our best option here might be to simply take this guy out and get that other person to lead us in. There we go. Uh, right, so where, where do we find this guy? Oh, well, not there. Well, it turns out there was no way to him from that side. Might have to get inside the building. It looks like... Well, that's not great. Maybe we'll be alright here. Anyone else? There's that one. And there's that one. So where does he go? That's the question here. Yeah, we don't need to worry about getting past the police because we're past the police now. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddy Abilene of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Scandalous activity? Oh, yes, yes. It's uh, uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant. Let's follow him. Discreetly, if you would. Follow him discreetly. Airing a fellow member of Parliament of dirty linen. What? <laughs> uh oh, there's that guy. Very discreet. Shit. Well, I was trying to be discreet, but unfortunately, this guy's uh, caused me a problem. Anyway. Usually, I would be in. So you were saying? My clothes all fell into the <laughs> So you were saying, pal? What's happening? Can we move now? I might have scared him. I might have stuck him in a bad situation. Right, you're okay, pal. You can you can you can settle down now, it's fine, look. Okay. I thought for a minute we were gonna fail that or something because we ended up in a big fight. I should One really have taken that guy down first. Is a very ancient old lady. Modeled after my mother. <laughs> He's kinda of making fun of Aberline a wee bit there. Let's just open this quickly. Having a bit of fun at Aberline's expense. A tough old bird she was. Actually had a facial hair problem. We'd sell the hair for dolls. Good word. Let's take out these guys while we're here. Please let me know if I'm speaking too much. We've got quite a few guards in this. I say guards. Quite a few bad guys in this corridor. Watch for the rook boy. There we go. Right, keep moving, mate. Just keep moving. Come on. Is he going to keep moving? Come on, mate. Keep moving. Well, while we're waiting for him to get moving, let's take this guy down. Ah, huh, maybe not. This will stop it. I think we might be in danger here. I might be in danger here. Okay. 
Where's that politician? Come on, pal. Let's keep going. Come on. Come on, let's get out of here. I've dealt with the problem. Let's keep moving. This guy's like, shit, what's going on here? I'm terrified. Is he coming? Mate, please hurry up. Please don't tell me you're stuck here now. Sometimes if you walk into him like that, it'll get him moving. But on this occasion, it does not appear to be doing that. Oh, look, no one's attacking me. It's all good, mate. Let's get going. Something's wrong. He's stuck in a loop. Maybe if I hide? I feel like he doesn't want... Will he keep moving if I hide? Hide the body? No, he didn't seem to be bothered by the ones at the start. Um... I suppose we could try. He didn't seem that bothered initially. Oh, he was scared, obviously, but... What's happening? I might have uh, I might have messed up this opportunity. That's also another chance. I don't think we can put more than one body in there, can we? Can I? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Well, apparently, I can put more than one body in there. Right. Come on now, pal. Let's keep going. What are we waiting for here? Let's go. Let's see if we can work out where he was taking us. See if I go out of sight, maybe he'll start following. Maybe he'll start coming if I go away somewhere. Do you know what? I think it's that door there that he was taking me to. Give the password. There we go. Password. Balaclava. Mm -hmm. Come in. Come in. Come in, he says. This isn't the guy. Ah, Minister Hacker. One moment. Dashed paperwork will be the death of us, what? Now then, <clears throat> let's discuss this like je Good God! Good God! The bloody oh, shut up. Oof. <laughs> What a vicious attack. <laughs> Coward! Villain! What do you mean? I walked in and I killed you right to your face. Alas! That the hero of Balaclava. There it's the hero of Balaclava. There you go. That's why Balaclava's his password. To an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave. For Take your you bow, knave. What no Russian battery, <laughs> what no Indian tiger could achieve. Take a bow, knave. Claim your trophy. And may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia. <laughs> your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. No, it won't, mate. God save the My Queen. God, this guy's so self-important. And the eleventh hussars. <laughs> what a prick. <laughs> nice. What a prick, huh? What a prick. I think that's, um... We need to get out, but... Can I just go out the store that I came in? I don't actually know if coming out this door that I came in is the best option for getting out of here. But I did clear the entire passage, so... I imagine it should be okay. We opened a door, like, there, didn't we? He's gone, look. He's not there anymore. He's disappeared. We didn't need him in the end, as it turned out. We're able to work out which door he was in. 
That's it, down the down the wall. There we go. Can I get on the river here? I don't think that's going to help me, being on this lamppost. I guess that'll do. We just get in the water and get out. I was trying to find a way I could do that without falling in the water, but... It wasn't possible. Don't kill a policeman, don't get detected by the target. We managed it fine. We got a blackguard suit. Should be the end of that. Uh, yeah, there we go. I was going to say that should be the end of that section of the game. That, whatever it is. Oh, that I've suddenly forgotten. Oh, we're back with the. Uh, we're back with Sean and uh, what's her name? I've forgotten her name. Apart from the death squad on our tail. Apart from that. Backups on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. For some reason. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. Uh -huh. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. Who's he talking about? He became my friend. Put himself through... He might be talking about hell. Desmond, to be fair. He saved us all in the end. So, I reckon... Well, I can't apologise to him. No, you can't, can, he's dead. I don't know. I can try and live By up this to point. example. You what are we looking at here? Assassin. Holy jeez! <laughs> she scared the hell out of him. Hello. It has been too long. Galena. I mean, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many Do you know, I am kind of surprised like a that in all the years of doing Assassin's Creed games, Bishop tells me that they've never done one set in, like, the present day. I like, fully set in, like, the present day where you, you're you actually Great. fighting now, against modern you know, Templars. I, am going to I guess it wouldn't be as interesting. But I am surprised they've never done it. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean, like, you know, properly. For now, Obviously we are. It is set in the present day round. through memories or whatever, but... I'm surprised they, never, they haven't done a full game of it. A letter. For me? No, not for much longer. We're going to go to... Oh! Part 8. Sequence 8. Which will uh, unlock the whole a letter, will stop the whole a letter for me thing. So I think there's either nine or ten um, sequences. Jump straight into sequence eight. A dinner invitation. No. And with whom are you? There we go. That's season? the letter. Maxwell Roth, the leader of the Blighters. You're not going. Of course not. Maxwell Roth, the leader of the Blighters. Okay. Well, let's go then. I'm not going. I am. <laughs> he is going. So yeah, this this was the letter that he received. It was a letter from. I remember it said when 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 it said that we'd had an invitation from somebody. I don't know why you can do that object that sequence early. Like you could if you wanted. Obviously, as soon as you get the invite, the invite, just do that straight away. Don't know if it would change anything. Would killing the leader of the blighters early mean we don't have to fight them the rest of the time? Probably not. We're going there. It's like Nelson's column it has to be like one of the highest uh has to be one of the highest falls in Assassin's Creed in general. Okay, and also I'm uh, aiming to go to a uh, guy selling stuff, not where I'm actually trying to go there. But yeah, I, di I didn't want to do them out of sequence, to be honest. I'd rather do it in order. Okay, so what's next? Where are we? Who are we facing? Are we actually going to meet this guy, or are we going to just be going to keep a keep a lookout for what the trap is first? Are we in that insurance building? Okay. 
Just jump down. Alright, so what is this place? Oh, we got some photography. Looks like he's got to screw loose. Look at this guy, he's not happy. Photographer's not happy. Here you go, pal, can you take your photo like that? How about that? No? Like that. Like that. Like this? I had a person come and tell him that not happy, he can't take his pictures. Alright, this is uh, Jacob accepts Maxwell's Roth Maxwell Roth's invitation to a meet. Hmm. Better check the back. Better check the back. So we gotta go and look for the back entrance. Okay, fair enough. If I'd known that, I'd have gone that way in the first place. So we gotta go in the back door. Speak with the doorman. There we go. Guard dealt with. So this this guy's club or something? I got that. See Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my own. <laughs> you should be on the stage, sir. <laughs> this way. We didn't take them off him though. I should be on this stage, sir. Well, maybe I'm going to be. So what is this place? Looks like um, yeah, some sort of theatre, isn't it? But what are they performing? Ah, our honoured guest has arrived. This is Maxwell Roth. Sit. It's Maxwell's house. This. I've had my eye on you for some time. I find your heroics in battle in the great Crawford Starrick quite magnificent. Doesn't like Starrick for the same thing. Soldiers one by one, doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary, surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Starrick, that's a different story. I'm draining in directives, all terrifying. Let's say <laughs> we work together and bring him down. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. My friend, if I fail to provide you with the chance to cause Starrick some pain, well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. <laughs> what do you get out of all this? <laughs> the chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. I guess that's kind of true though, isn't it? He's definitely uh, doing some things that a lot of people probably wouldn't. Is he really going to take a drink that he's just been given by this guy? Lewis! My carriage! Shall we? I'm quite surprised that he's just drunk the drink that he's given him. I mean, it seems like it's not going to do him any harm, but I am quite surprised he's just walked into this place and just accepted a drink off that guy. <laughs> this way! Well, you don't expect me to go alone, do you? Dunno. Take the reins. Where are we going? This right way. To St Pancras. And don't spare the horses. St Pancras, you say? Oh, Alright. I thought you and Starrick would be fighting for the same ends. Off to St Pancras station. Ah, uh, you know. He required my services to train his gang leaders. But the man is dreadful. You don't say. <laughs> Freedom, Jacob. Freedom is far more than a sin. It denies us. It's far more sin. Denies us our humanity. Right, you are. And Saint and Pancras that. will ease our suffering. Saint Pancras will, I. The station contains a large shipment of explosives to be dispatched oh. to Starrick and Co. Do you want me to steal some explosives or blow them up? What are we doing? We're stealing them or blowing them up? There's a train parked inside St Pancras. Okay. Then I'm to do away with Starrick's merchandise, leaving chaos in my wake. Why not? Eliminate all the blighters. Why not? <clears throat> As we speak, 
The up train is headed towards us. That may help you enter the station unseen. Okay. As long as it remains on the Oh, tracks. that's something else. Okay. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. I shall make certain any reinforcements from Steric are kept away from the station. Good stuff. Thank you, pal. I guess we're not following Roth anymore. Use the moving train. There it is. Oh shit, I'm in the wrong place here. Get on the train. So we use the moving train as an easy way to get inside. Oh, that's that, that thing there, eliminate all blighters or something else. Do you like the train mechanic? The trains work really well, yeah. The train, the trains are quite good. Like having the train as well as your uh, as your hideout is quite good. It makes a lot of sense as well, I suppose, given the setting. It kind of uh, isn't a bad wee thing. And I guess I mean, at the point in time where this was kind of set. There were probably a lot of kind of wealthy people that had their own trains, weren't there? Yeah. Wasn't the best way to do this. Kind of stuck. To break that guy's guard. This is like the worst close quarters area to be fighting in as well. Although maybe that's worked in my favour actually. I got a lot of shots there. Break his guard. The camera angle really doesn't help at that moment. Can you come in? He says, Keep him busy. Look at this guy. Look at this one. I don't think we can kill this guy. There we can, okay good. Uh, okay, so first load of explosives are there. That was a bit of a nasty glitch that, wasn't it? I need to restock some of my stuff. Get this guy as well. Happened to your character in a few Assassin's Creed games. Yeah. I remember it was a thing that there was a glitch in Assassin's Creed Unity, I think. Um, Become anonymous to to work with the explosives. Um, that that you would get stuck climbing a building and be like running on the spot halfway up the building. And then you know you just couldn't do anything. But yeah, <laughs> it seems to be a common glitch in their games. Even the more recent ones, I'm sure, aren't completely. Someday immune to it. Will understand that I'm doing this for your own good. Jacob definitely prefers a bit of a bloodbath. All right, pal. Some music all of a sudden. <laughs> I think it's safe to say Jacob prefers chaos. Is 
should see that, mate. Look at that. Can I have a look at that? Uh, there was one, there's one more thing of dynamite somewhere, or maybe in here, in the general office. Ah, oh, yeah, there, yeah, there it is. I'm paying attention. Ignite all the dynamite. I actually don't think that's where I was supposed to do it. I think I was supposed to do it there. Three of five, so we've still got one lot there. Yeah, the explosives that were there are done, but there's some more up here. Whee! That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Down onto that framework is what I need, I think. And that'll work. There. I mean, I could shoot the, shoot them as well, to be fair. I think igniting them is probably the best option here. One of them's floating. Witchcraft. Victorian witchcraft. Looks like there's one more thing on that train there, maybe? Oh yeah, yeah, there were boxes, there were boxes on the train. There we go. Next. I think, you know, I think one of the things that makes the combat in this that much more um, brutal, I suppose, is the fact that, you know, in the other ones, in the other games, obviously, you're people walking around with swords, which is perfectly normal in some of those other time periods. But in Victorian England, it probably doesn't make a great deal of sense, does it? Regular people walking the streets with swords. So you end up with some really brutal close quarters combat. Fuck out of this train. Is that it? Are we done? Now to find somebody to drive this hunk of metal. Find someone to drive that exploded train. He doesn't need to find someone. He can drive it himself. He's done it before. There. Kidnap a driver. Why? Why? There we go. Problem solved. Come on, pal. Look, we got a train to get. We got a train to catch, mate. Get your bleeding hands off me! What do you think you're up to? Can you to do, now, do uh, drive a train? Do be quiet, sir. No need to make a fuss. Just need you to drive the train for me. That's all. What do you want from me? I just need you to keep the engine stoked. All right, I'll help you. Don't hurt me. Think of me as another passenger. I just happen to have a rather large blade pointed at your back. Good news is we can just run him there. It's quite nice. Mm, I'm not actually sure we can get on the train from this side. Surely we can. Get on the train. Wait, is it not that train? Oh, it's the bloody other one. It's the next. It's the next train over, not that one. I can't. Uh, I can't take him over the little gaps there. I have to take him. We we can't mind the gap. While we're while we're walking somebody along, unfortunately. Who's mind the gap? But we should be able to get him on from this side then, I hope. That doesn't look like a great space for me to try and walk him through though, to be fair. No, there's a guy there. With an alarm bell. I think we're okay, as long as we get him on the train, I think we're probably, we're probably fine. Right, dry pal, let's go. Would you be so kind as to get up some steam? <laughs> so drive, mate. 
I think, are we following them with this train, maybe? Looks pretty empty to me. Not a lot of coal in there. Nope. There he is. There's the person we were here to see. Don't kill the driver. Don't kill the driver. My hat is off to you. Apologies, I must run. Do come see me again. We, I, I definitely don't think we should be trusting this guy in the slightest. I just have a feeling. Uh, okay, so there's that mission that we've done. What time are we at now? I think we've probably got... I might do one more. I think it is all just Jacob, this uh, this sequence by the look of things. So we'll do one more. Uh, there's, a, there's a... There's a stronghold thing here, but there's a lot of people we got to take down. Oh! I didn't expect to go through the wall there. A lot of people we have to take down to get by it. Probably won't be that difficult, but... Hello! Goodbye! Okay. I've got a knife I can throw at that. Mm. They're all too high level for me to use the... Um... Well, let me just check something, actually. Can we do that upgrade at all? No. So we can maybe do the upgrade on the dart. So I think we're just going to leave this sequence for just this bit for just now. We'll do the we'll do the we'll do another mission. See, so I think that might be the last one we do tonight. I know I'm running a wee bit longer than normal, but yeah, we'll do that. It's still a decent amount left of the game to play as well for Thursday, so... I think. I don't know if Evie has any missions in this, uh, in this sequence. I'm thinking maybe she doesn't. <clears throat> like this is one we're all alone on. Does she have a robe? I don't know. No sequence for, for Evie on her own. Insurance! Alright, well we're almost there. Not whatever this might be. But yeah, you, you are right. The, the, it does always seem like... I'm sure, I'm sure, I was going to say, I'm sure in um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla I've still come across those those issues where you end up running on the spot. You know, you'd think that by now they'd have... Uh, was it more missions for him? Okay. So you'd think that by now they'd have, they'd have solved that issue, but... I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to speak, we're going to speak to him again. We're going for Roth again. There's him. Jacob. He is beautiful, isn't he? She got a minor bird. I think they fixed it so you can move out of it, but sometimes the animation just loops anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And a perfect second out in forests. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. It just makes you wonder why it's not something that they can just that they can just get rid of entirely. You sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. 
There is no sense in giving you all the glory. I suppose the trouble is as well, you know, you could add a get unstuck button. This dude's a bad egg, oh definitely. There's definitely something wrong with this guy. Definitely something not right about this guy. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. I feel like maybe he's saying that we're doing these things to get, get to go against Staric, but actually we're <coughs> doing it to cause someone else a problem, is what I'm assuming. These cowardly fools under Staric have built their own prison. Or maybe he's worse than Staric. They could be building gangs instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not aim to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? Don't kill anyone inside what the target locations. Bird? Don't let any target escape from being kidnapped. Well, the good news is, I've taken the skill update, which should mean they can't escape once we've got them. Hank lose to Hattie's whereabouts. That's who? He seems like it, though, yeah. Is in football, eh? I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. Ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She finished a statue. Stealing art, okay. Me. She's been stealing art, has she? Priggin', she said, she not. Must be around here somewhere. I've never heard of that as a, a word for stealing before. Oh look, it's there. That's going to be the statue, right? Or else that's just a very big person standing still. Officer, don't mind me, just have a look at the pedestal there. We're going to have to sneak past people to get down there though, aren't we? Now where is that statue? Underground. Do you know, kid? Hey, Know anything about what happened here? I saw who pinched it, sir. Does Miss Cadwallader? She hides down the sewers, sir. She's hiding down the sewers. Of course right. it's sewers. She's hiding down the sewers. We can get there without being seen, right? Why the bloody sewers? Because who, who's, who's going to go down there? Not that many people are going to follow her down, are they? I wouldn't have thought. I did what? I took a wrong turn somewhere apparently. Oh, I failed the don't kill anybody mission objective. Unfortunately. I'm not too bothered about that though. There are other people. There's, th there's those two there. Nobody that way. But there's this guy. Where's he gonna go? I think we could probably get him now, to be honest. To take him out. There's the person that needs to be captured. Right, where are you going? Where are we off to? On its way, and tell him too that I'm growing tired of these working conditions. Wasn't Staric who sent me? Then who? Where are we going here? Maxwell Roth sent his regards. What's this place? There's the statue. Look, there's the statue. I might just got to take her out of here. I think I've got to just bring her out. Do I? Deliver Hattie to Roth. Yeah, there you go. So I guess we no. If we go back the way we came, though, there's a big um, area with police all over. I can't. I can't like shoot those people while I'm being while I'm uh, walking around. Just wondering what's down there. Oh no! I was going to say what's down this way, but. It looks like we have to just go back out the way we came in. There doesn't look like there's an exit anywhere else, so... 
But yeah, there's something definitely something not right about this guy. I think it's fair to say. You know, the only thing is, can we get out of here this way? The only way we can get out of here is to go out back through the way we came in. Just have to run as fast as we can. There we go, we're out of the restricted area now. Pardon me? <laughs> hear that? What are these fuckers up to? She said. Bloody hell. <laughs> is there a row over there? Yeah, there is, I. There we go. I don't even think that was the way I was supposed to take her out, because the Looks way back Tim's like all the way around there, but I think we'll be okay. I wonder what happens when we deliver this person to him, though. Hi. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. Okay, but he'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick. There you go, pal. Is that you? Oh, I've got to drive as well. Why the Alhambra? Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. Reach St. James's Park. Than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so. Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. Uh. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy being entertained. Oh, St. James's Park now. He if enjoys being entertained. Ah, the park. The dwelling place of Starrick's oh, not entertained. One Benjamin Raffles. Benjamin Raffles. Alright, so. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. Uh, kidnap him. Don't let anyone escape again. So this one looks like it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do. This one's going to be definitely a little bit more, more difficult to deal with. I knew that was going to be a problem. Oh, this is a bad idea. I can tell already how bad an idea this was. I was hoping I wouldn't have to fight them, and now this guy's probably going to be running away too. I love when he does this, uh, this thing. Ah. I'm dead. This was the worst way to do this, to be fair. Yeah, it was better to die there, I think. And start again. Better to die there and start that sequence again, that situation again. I would say. Because that was a mess. I was just hoping there might be an easier path to have got the guy out through. I think probably our best option is to get into that park as fast as possible, stop the carriages from getting me. I don't know. The trouble is, there's guards. No matter where we go there, there's always guards right in front of it, so... I suppose, potentially, we could... ...do this. Right, so where does this guy go that needs to be captured? He's there. We've got these two. We need obviously to have an exit, that's the biggest issue. We need to have a clear way out of here. Can't tell, it doesn't look like there's anyone guarding that gate. We can get him out. I 
We'll be alright. There's a few of them over there, though, that are obviously a bit of an issue. We need him to be a bit closer to here before we grab him. He is going to go... He does seem to be going between all the different guards, though. I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, possibly if he gets close enough, we could draw him in with some noise. Some of us have to work he is just place. walking. Thanks. Mate, you're standing in the park. Are you tired? He says some of us have to work instead of playing pranks. Mate, you're standing in, you're standing in the park. Enjoying music. Doesn't seem like you're doing much work to me. Does he know he looks like a nut? Right, so when's he going to move? It looks like he just goes between these two groups of guards. Sure, there's only two over there. We could take them down. Like a double assassination, that would help. Probably. Although when he gets there, then he's going to be like... I think we might do that, because he's taking a while to get going again. <gasps> we can see you, you in a flash. Shit. Yeah, this guy I didn't think I didn't uh, I didn't take into account that guy. Is he moving? If he goes back out again, though, it shouldn't be that difficult. We can take these two down easily enough. Yeah, there we go. He's hiding from someone, that's for sure. Oh, he's not up to any mischief. <laughs> not up to any mischief, mate, no. None of that. None of that sort of nonsense. No mischief today. No mischief today. I will say it's a little disappointing as well, you know, that some of these characters that you get in the... that you're dealing with, some of the NPCs you're dealing with, tend to be very much the same sort, the same exact models, you know. Is there any way I can get him to come to me there? He seems like he's just stayed here now. Can we attract him here with this? The question's going to be, who comes? Who comes to look at it? Nobody. I was hoping somebody would come to look at that and see who see what it was. The trouble is, every one of them looks. I'm hopeful that they turn away before, before he comes here. Nope, they don't. I couldn't get in there quickly enough to, to get him. I'm wondering, actually, these are level 4 guys. I'm just wondering whether they'll be okay for me to hit with these darts. The answer is no. But he's running now. That might be the chance to get him. Let him run, let him run. Okay. Right, this way. This? Did Rob send you? The villain. Thing is, they're they're obviously you they're obviously going to follow me now. The man you work for is the real villain here. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. Well, that that gate there, look, that gate there's uh, that, that, that gate there is unguarded. Now that that uh, now that that's gone past. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I think by now we should have kind of realised that uh, there's something odd going on here. I'm going to go a little further than I should, just round that, that street there where I can see those horses. Just in the hope that that will avoid the enemies. In fact, we can probably go that way. Just to avoid those carriages that were coming by. I think that'll do. What's the meaning of this? Well, you'll see. Did send you? The villain! You have your villains mixed up, Mr. Rappers. Yeah. Same the man conversation. You work for is the real villain here. I don't know, I'm starting to wonder. Something is going Particularly on. based on some of the stuff Staric said, suggested he's maybe not quite as bad as some of the others. Still a Templar, but... 
some of the stuff he said does suggest that he's maybe not quite as bad as some of the other Templars that we've met. My most fragrant refuse. How very good to see you again. Well, Roth. Is the other person still it's in there? The back with you, then. No, oh, he's just disappeared. Oh, we got to go. We got to go to Scotland Yard as well. Oh, God. Who is this lyrist that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't he? Came to me a few years past. He's very solemn, but always so polite. Solemn but there polite, yeah. Many other talents. What are we doing at Scotland Yard? Have we got to capture someone at Scotland Yard? Chester Swine. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack and you cut Sterrick's ties to the police force. Did I have to kidnap her? I could just kill him. good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. I wish I could just get rid of him instead of... Yeah, there's definitely something not right about this guy. I actually can't remember. It's been so long since I first played this game that I actually can't remember what, what happens in this sequence. All these bobbies give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland mm. Yard. So what we're doing at Scotland Yard, mate? Sounds like a bad idea, whatever it is. We gotta kidnap him, but he's on the top floor. He's on the top floor and we gotta capture him. There he is, look. Just by his window. The thing is, we can probably get him okay. The, the grabbing him part's not going to be the hard bit. The hard bit's going to be getting him out of there. I think. That's going to be the difficult bit, let's be honest. Capturing him isn't going to be that tough, but yeah, getting him out is going to be very difficult. Get down. That was almost a that was almost a big mistake. Now I can sneak in behind him and get him quite easily, I'm sure. But I thought we were in a cell there, though. That's the cell, isn't it? Once he turns away, we can go through this window, I think. Right, here he is. Now. we got to walk slowly. If we walk slowly, we might be okay. Basically, the smaller that circle, obviously, anywhere that we go, it's the circle that... Uh, it's the circle that decides who can hear us, so if we keep the circle small, hopefully we can avoid the officers who are going to be a problem. Like this guy. Oops. The trouble is... Okay, we can go... Depending on where he goes, I was going to say we can go to the... Okay, no, he stops right there, so that's going to be an issue. I can't get past him while he stands there. Okay, he does that, okay. We get him down the stairs before that guy comes back. I hate these slow I hate this slow walking. Depends where the other officers go as well. Like it's fine if we can walk him down the stairs without drawing their attention, but God, that guy caused us serious problems there. But I'm not, how am I going to get out the front door? I'm not going to get out the front door with uh, them standing right there, am I? Even with that guy there, I've still got to get past the other one. There is a back door. Hopefully that will let us out here safely and we can get him to the carriage and finish this mission. I'm assuming this will be the final part of the mission, right? Because, I mean... It's it's truly, uh, barring us going into like Buckingham Palace and getting somebody, it's probably the highest security area we could possibly be walking somebody out of at this stage. Oh, 
Oh shit. That was not what I wanted to happen. No, don't, don't, don't kidnap him. Don't kill him. Unfortunately, I failed the secondary objective there. Good news is, by him running out of there, we may be able to. Excuse me, excuse me. Shit, that's fucked it. That's fucked it. We're not going to catch him now. That's fucked it. Ah! No, don't attack him! The trouble is, he's going to attack me, but I can't attack him. Ah, oh, we're dead here. I really didn't want to have to fight them. Yeah, we were doing okay there. I was doing okay there until that guy walked into me. That's really annoying. Until that, that one guy outside walked into me, I was doing okay. We weren't going to get out that gate at the side either. We were definitely not going to get out that gate at the side because there were too many people waiting there. That's really annoying. I was almost done. I was almost out. <laughs> So which part do we uh which part do we find ourselves back at here? We're back at this we're back at this entrance already. Just straight to the front door. Damn it. Yeah, it could do. Could take the guy out at the door. That would uh, that would probably help. That might help. But to be honest, probably not. The best way out is definitely going to be I could take him down from here. No one will know I'm here. That might work. That might work for getting him straight out that front gate without having to fight loads of them. Am I on the wrong side of the building here? I'm on the wrong side of the building here. I'm going to climb into a jail cell. As soon as he turns round, we can... Yeah, there we go. Remember, as soon as he turns round, we can do this. Right. Huh? What the fuck? No, no, swine. How's he reacting to that? Make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking... There's no way he saw that. A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. There's no way that guy saw me. Absolutely no chance that he saw me there from a floor below. Grabbing this guy. Right, by clearing the front door, I think we should be able to get out without any problems now. And straight out the front gate. That'll save us a lot of trouble. Wait, there's a guy, isn't there, that's going to come out of that room? Can we get by here before he comes out? Yes, we can. Right, that's the first floor. And remember, there's that call, there's that policeman that stands there. Good news is he goes away again, though. Alright. We should be okay here. There's the front door, nice and clear. After we took down that guy. Oh shit, there's people walking in that area though. Just have to wait for them to wait for this guy to get out of the way. She stands right in front of the bloody door. For a moment. And then when he comes out, we can go. 
Okay, I think we're good. And then we don't need to worry so much about the size of the search area now. We should be okay at this point. In the end, it wasn't that difficult, really. There we go, we did it. It was one of those missions where I think setting up beforehand was definitely a better option. Reach the delivery point. Okay, so this is the final this is the final part. We just have to drop these people off somewhere. Where are we dropping them off? The slaughterhouse or something. I guess we're about to find out. Slow down. There we go. Aha, we're putting them on a boat. Excellent work. Do come find me at the Elabra. I have more amusements planned for us. There he is. We know he's a bad guy, and yet we're still doing these things with him. Okay, so we didn't manage to not kill anyone, unfortunately, but we did manage to do it without uh, the people escaping from being kidnapped. Well, that's not entirely true, but we failed that one time, so it didn't count. <laughs> now let's refill everything while I'm here. There we go, that's better. Right. That is going to be, I think, where we finish up for tonight. I'm just having a quick look to see what's left. We've got another mission there. Uh, I don't know how many there are. Do you know, just out of interest, I just want to see how many missions there are for this guy. Let's have a quick look. Um, syndicate. Uh, yeah, that one. Just want to have a quick look and just see. Sequence 8, I said. Uh, there's two more missions in sequence eight, apparently. They'll probably take a while. But yeah, two more in sequence eight. There's sequence nine. Well, that's it. All that's left is sequences eight and nine. So, yeah, there is only one more sequence after this one, which we will do on Thursday, along with the remaining two missions in this one. And maybe some side stuff, too. We'll see how that goes. But that is going to be where I finish for tonight, because I'm getting a bit tired, to be honest. And I feel like we should just end it there. So let me just shut this down. Close that down. But we're not too far away. I think uh, one more stream we should get things finished, unless things take absolutely forever on, on Thursday. You never know. <laughs> but certainly we should get that finished, I think, fairly soon. So that's not too bad. Thank you very much. Your eyes. Yeah. Up the old apples and pears to... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Catch me on the old dog and bone next time. Lovely stuff. Looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to have a quick look and see you, just out of interest. Lovely stuff as always. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I'm going to have a quick look at something, although I'm pretty knackered, as I say. I don't know if I might just finish, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, head, head up the old apples and pears, absolutely. The old apples and pears. The Wooden Hill. The Bedfordshire or something. We'll find out if that guy's a total Douglas Heard. Absolutely. I expect that he is. I expect he definitely is. Seems a little bit too friendly for me. Seems a little bit too friendly. Ow. Oh. A wee bit sore. I am just going to finish up tonight because I can't really hang about anywhere. I'm just absolutely knackered. So I am just going to finish. Thank you very much though. Have a good night. And uh, thank you to everyone else who's been here as well. Whether you've been chatting or you've been lurking. Great to see you. I'll be back tomorrow for some Dead by Daylight at the same time. Good night for now. And yeah, we'll find out on Thursday what he's up to. 